been going uh, non-stop on that Wonder Woman. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a nice little chill out and maybe answer super some questions. Super chill, super chat sesh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, how long do you do you have in you? Do you believe? I probably got quite a while. Hmm. In that case, we shall simply go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. We will be listed in a moment. We've got... Um, is the, the big one we got to catch up with is the boys stream. Oh, we did. wow. That, that's the one we haven't done. Today we're going to try and do 109s, I think, is the... Uh, which we did a portion of. That's the Nostalgia Critic Van Helsing one. But we're getting there. Do do. Right. That should be public. Excellent condition, that's reassuring. Bleh. Got to find out if I actually have the right chat on screen too. Ah, the first person to talk is Goga. Oh, by the way, I, sh uh, what I, I was on like a random Nerdrotic stream and I told them about the meme Goga made. Um, with, with like, Az and Jeremy, like, arguing and how funny we found it, that they ended up playing the it on the stream. Room. Yeah. It's really yeah. good. It was really hilarious. We've still got it's another Goga meme to watch on the, the next meme fact we end up recording. But yes, hello there, chatteroonies. Looks like everything's working then. Public, excellent condition, and let me just get that up. Okay. And excellent. We'll go right from the beginning of Portal Two. Why not? Um, how is everybody doing? We are we're here today right. to catch up on some some missed. I've got like a few questions that were meant for you as well in previous uh, EFAP. Oh First one being. I don't mean to brag, but it feels like coat season, so let's talk about coats. How do you feel about the coat fashion in Cyberpunk 2077? I had no answer for that, so I figured you might. Uh, I can't remember enough about the coats. It depends. I feel like they're all over the place, kind of like real coats. Hmm. You know, all kinds of different ideas about what makes a good coat, what, what coats should be in the future. Yeah, I, there's definitely a big difference between the coats you just see on the... on random passers-by and uh, the really nice jackets you might find in offices and stuff. So it kind of reminds me of the, uh, of real stuff. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness. Have you uh, played any more Cyberpunk since? <laughs> nope. I have not either. I actually haven't played a single minute more since the stream that we did, no. I will say, um, the, it's funny. My argument was going to be, well, been doing all kinds of Mando editing all up until that last episode, and now I'm doing Wonder Woman editing, which still isn't done. So, you know, it's not really... Blah, 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 but it's like, yeah, but I mean, I'm playing Portal right now, right? So it's like, I could be playing Cyberpunk, but I just don't have a desire to. Mm -hmm. And you just need that desire. This is art. You will hear um, but hopefully, you know, a revisit to it once it's further along in its um, release will mean more entertainment quicker. Better ratio, a stronger video game. I haven't actually kept up with um, like updates and stuff. Are they? How is Cyberpunk doing? How is CD Projekt Red doing? I don't know. I haven't either. I have not been keeping up with it. Well, there you are. Then. So there um, you go. It goes with our interest in it, yeah. It says Raggleton, please speak French to chat. Also, Kunoshiwa. Oh, Konichiwa, sorry. Rags. Also, uh, Table Gene. Rags. Well, I, I distinctly recall Gene having one side shorter than the other, though. So a wonky table is what you're saying. Well, yeah, because that's what Gene was. Mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of sort of baffles me how people could look at what obviously is the Gene shape of it being asymmetrical and then try to turn that into, no, 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 guys, he's totally symmetrical. It's like a religion where their their source material is actually super duper fucked up, but they try to pretend against all reason that it's Wait, actually great. And, and Gene right. is fucked up. Well, 
no, no, I was um, referring to the you know, the aspect of the analogy, but in the sense that he is asymmetric. I don't even know if it's a he, if it's an it. Oh. I mean, Gene, is Gene an androgynous name? Can girls be called Gene, Gene Grey? Oh shit, you're right. I guess it was spelt with a, with a hard G. -E -N -E. G, G Gene is spelled with a J, right? But, but, I mean, for, for, I for in X-Men. Jean, because there's also Jean-Luc. Oh shit, you know what? All the rules are just thrown out these days. Yeah, I'm really not. I'm really not sure. I have to ask uh, Tonald, I guess. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. Uh, what you're doing there is jumping. So yeah, hey rags. If Hi. if you Muller and Wolf were captured by someone and you were held at gunpoint and had to choose which one was to live, who would you choose? If I had to choose between who? Myself and Wolf. Oh, okay, you know what? I, close enough. Just hold I guess probably you to live. I just know, know you better. I've known you for, I don't think longer, but nowadays especially because we talk so much, like, I think our relationship is stronger because of how often we interact now. I think that's but fair. I definitely mean, wouldn't be a pleasant choice to make. No. I ended with Ziziki rags. I don't know. I'm not sure what language that one is. Also high rags. Oh, hello. Um, also, hello, Rags. I think that was hello. a whole super chat on its own. Mola, Rags, please stream the game. I want to see how broken the game is. I think it would be really fun for everyone. Hello, Rags. Also, hi, Rags. Hi, Rags. Also, hi, Rags. <laughs> hi, hello, hi, hi, hi. And they're talking about Cyberpunk, I believe. Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't have that really any interest in streaming it, honestly. Um, um, I'm just not a big streamer. I mean, game streamer, at least. Um, anyway, but I don't know if Cyberpunk would be the one to stream. It might, I don't know, it could be fun because of how fucked <laughs> up it is, but. Let's well, see, that's the funny thing. I'm big into streaming games, but I don't want to stream that one. First of all, for functionality, I'm not even sure my PC can handle streaming it. Even if it did, I don't know what of the game is fucking up because I'm streaming it rather than just playing it normally. Um, but then also because, I guess. I'm just not a fan of the game right now. I would honestly just be like, can't I just play Simpsons it and run? Come on. I play Luigi's Mansion. Come on, guys. It's making me play Cyberpunk is so mean. Uh, Rags, have you ever played Exanima? Like a top down Mordhau mixed with getting over it with Bennett Foddy? I have played Exanima for a bit. Mm. Um, it's interesting. Very odd combat system that they use for that. But I'll, I'll probably play it again. But I remember doing okay. I remember. I, mean, I, I thought it was certainly um, interesting. Yeah, I feel like the name's familiar, but I don't remember it. Uh, please have Rags read this in an angry voice. Um, all right. I guess I can paste it to you. All right. Sure. No idea what the context is, but you know that's how it goes with a lot of super chats. Oh. Yeah, we make our own context. Let's see. Okay, let me highlight the part I need to read. I, I assume the G-Buzz at the end was... Or was that part of the thing? I guess G-Buzz is who they are. I'm not sure. <laughs> An angry voice. Okay. <clears throat> um, God, getting to my angry... My I, I'm not often angry, so... Mm, um. uh, hmm. Let's see. You in the state of mind. Thanks. Someone at MSI thought it'd be a good idea to pair a 16 gigabyte Intel Octane with a 5600 RPM drive needs to be punished. Slower than a crippled snail. G-Buzz. <laughs> Slower than a crippled snail? Oh no. Well, if you just have a nice little slope, that snail might just come across as not even crippled at all. It's just sliding right down. Um, so yeah, those are the ones from Cyberpunk that, uh, are, like, had you in them that you missed, but now we've got, now we're over to the Halloween stream, which, uh, the first one is, when is the next Among Us session? You know, there's a good chance they won't be at this point, and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. From what I've heard, Among Us is getting less yeah. and less popular, which was the only reason I think that we, we were in the we position of playing all? it. Yeah, because we don't... I don't care about it that much, and I, I would argue that Rags has anti-care for it, you know? I, I just don't think it's fun. I think it's boring, and it's just a shitty version of TTT. Mm-hmm. 
Relax. Lie on your back. No, 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 no. When is VR more? I don't know. Don't know. Simply experiencing a rare reaction. But VR is pretty neat. From what I know. Um. Hmm. They changed up the puzzle from the first game. I can't be some gay wizard. The only spell I cast is fist in your face. Yes, that would have been Don Connery as Gandalf. And it would have been glorious. At least a little bit. Did you ever see the interview with Sean Connery where he talks about hitting women? It's goddamn hilarious. I'm pretty sure I have. I think I have as well. Super awkward. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? He was from a different time. Uh, what's that sh movie Sean Connery did with Matthew Broderick and Dustin Hoffman about a family of criminals? Can't remember the name, but it was pretty good if I remember, uh, in my opinion. It could no have been idea. called Family of Criminals. Maybe. I feel like I should know of it if it's Sean Connery, Dustin Hoffman, and Matthew Broderick, but no, I'm blanking on that. Gonna... Just... A lovely Christmas with our family of criminals. Which, once again, we're doing like a December stream and I'm catching up on Halloween fucking super chats. Happy Halloween, all you massives. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Merry Halloween, maybe. Mole, well, do you know of any of Junjo Ito's work? He makes some great horror manga. Skip the anime, though. I think I've been showed some. Some... Pretty spooky stuff. Is he the one that made the weird one where people go into their own holes and then they get extended? Into like long folk. It's uh, unsettling a lot of the work he makes. Go into your own holes. Rural Ural. Is the is this game really quiet? It feels really quiet to me, guys. Just saying. Let's see. According to the levels, we're still more than okay. Alright. Um Love the Van Helsing werewolf, it's the best one. Yeah, the werewolf's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the werewolves in Van Helsing, I'll fuck you up. They, uh... And, they and, no and the transformation is pretty good as well, like, it, it holds up. The CGI is, like, you know, not perfect, but... It's a hit and miss. Yeah, yeah, some of it holds up really well. Like, typically the werewolf stuff was pretty good. It held up all right. Um, some of the other stuff, though, was... Mm, they knew when to hide it, like mm. when um, Dracula transforms. They knew that for the most part. Either. They kind of, like, had it be a stylistic thing, where it's shadows and, you know, to think we're getting another Van Helsing now. Not gonna uh, be as good as the original, shit. of course. It's gonna be shit, but it won't even be good shit. Like yeah, the, no, the it won't be good Helsing. shit. It won't be. In, it won't be extremely entertaining. In the face of almost certain death. Uh, will be one day Squat was born. The next day Connery died. Coincidence? I think not. Also, high rags and all the N words. Hello, hello. EFAB 166 it is then. Go shed cover Plinket reviews. Go shed? I don't know. Can you believe we're already like getting closer and closer to the next year anniversary thing? Time is Every day, flying. Every day it crawls closer. Another reckoning. Another mm -hmm. 37,000 hour stream. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Who knows what we'll be talking about. Oh, every time I prepare for one, it's made of the previous one, and then I don't even cover anywhere close to what I was looking to cover, so we'll be fine. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please as long as people keep releasing terrible video essays, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we'll never run out of content, and as we know, they will never stop making terrible video essays. Never. They'll I've, be here for eternity. Like, I'm excited to see if, if High Top's really gonna praise Wonder Woman 1984. That's some... that's amazing. To think that I would do that. I saw that tweet. <laughs> I, I shudder to think how a professional movie critic or whatever can possibly think that that movie is anything except unadulterated garbage. Do you know even Movie Bob has like quote tweeted people saying it's good with like no it's shit. Oh yeah. Even I Movie Bob I mean, is against it. Not even Movie Bob. You know you fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, it's terrible. It is really, really bad. A 
and they're going to find out all about it when EFAP Movies Deliberate comes out. Oh, well, we're probably going to talk about it on the New Year's EFAP for a bit. All of its incredible ideas. Uh, love a Luke here. Doug Walker himself. Alright, fap away, fellow massives. We did, and um, we did again with Count Ankula soon after. Do you think Sean Connery turned down the Gandalf role because he figured that it would have been awkward he'd be playing across from an actual spy, Christopher Lee? Um, I assumed he turned it down because fantasy gay. Like, that's probably... As far fantasy. As it went. Like, what is this childish okay. bullshit? Can I have guns and bullets and submarines? <laughs> Gandalf in a submarine? I mean, I could wish. Hmm. Next EFAP, America will either be burning or burning times a million. Which candidate correlates with which one, though? I mean, who knows? The bi You know what? America's not currently on fire, right? That's a plus. Yeah, we're doing alright. Sweet. Hmm. Am I supposed to? Oh, I get it. Alright, I'm following you. Oh, that's a gauges. <gasps> Would you color cover the color of space starring Nicolas Cage? I I don't even know what that color is. Color of space, I unusual name. I don't know anything about it. So, I mean, maybe one day we'll watch it. Depends on what you mean. <clears throat> depends on what you mean by cover. Yeah, well like EFAP movies maybe because I've wanted us to watch Batman and Robin and EFAP movies since like, we did EFAP movies and we finally did it. I just needed Christmas. We did Highlander though, that's kind of fantasy. True. Maybe it's the right kind of fantasy though. Yeah, never know. He has, a, he has a, a, a sword limit per movie. How, how many swords are in Highlander? Two? Um... It's like one sword almost per person, right? I can't remember. How many? Yeah, I haven't seen it, so... Maybe he's like, well, it didn't re it didn't go over budget on the sword count, mm -hmm. so he could still do it. And then Peter Jackson's like, we have our own smith here, and he's like, oh, that's really gay. That's taking it too far. Hmm. Roy in. What if I... Hmm, it's just... Such complicated wax. There we go, that's probably it. No Palpatine 2020. If they put a comma there, I'd agree with it. Palpatine 2020, I'd vote for him. Because it seems that the Empire was just a little bit more competent with him in charge, you know? Once he died, they all just went to shit. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I've so never seen a more incompetent faction than the... Stormtroopers and fucking Mando. Yeah, because we used to think First Order kind of outclassed them all, but it's like, nah, Mando Stormtroopers are kind of the worst. They're just the worst. And the future starts with you. Though they're both pretty awful, though. Yeah. Maybe we'll make them more threatening in the next season. Who knows? Mando needs to start killing, like, randoms, not Stormtroopers. Like, People Might in different well places. Randoms. That's what I mean. As we've like, established, yeah, random accountants are more deadly than stormtroopers. Oh yes. Uh, from 2020 Omega in chat now. Well, you know what? You can definitely see when this was streamed. Uh, it could be streamed today. We are streaming today, unless this is oh, pre-recording. I wouldn't want to scare anyone. I haven't responded to anything in real time yet, I don't think, so this could be pre-recorded chat. An, what do you know? We have incredible predictive powers. We better be watching Sir Tonal's Halloween special. Cosmic Chicken wills it. I think we did, actually. I remember it was the where he was dressed up as, like, a spooky thing. Yeah. Well, you remember that. I, I, my focus is very split right now. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, what EFAP did the... Something Spider-Man come from. Oh, like ending a thing in spider I think it was a metal stream that that came from, actually. Hmm. Um, same with- Someone said, does Rags and Waller have an opinion on Wonder Woman 84? I thought it was interesting. It <laughs> felt like an episode of a superhero cartoon. Uh, we think it's fucking horrible. <laughs> 
So yeah, more details to come. Yeah, like uh, I guess the reason we wouldn't get into it right now is just because we're probably gonna be doing it for New Year's Eve, which is fucking what tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do it then, and then you'll have an EFAP movies of us reacting to the whatever you want to call that thing live, or in real time rather. It's a. It's quite. I don't know what they were thinking when they made that one. I don't know what they were thinking either. But I do like how it's unified people in sort of the the thing of like, you know, making sense is actually kind of cool. Maybe we should make more sense. Yeah, hopefully more of these movies come out so that... I mean, if, if we're going to destroy art, we might as well destroy art and get people on our side. You know, like... Obviously, Mando was, was it was it was bad news for us te team making sense, but Wonder Woman, uh, good news. Isle Rags, Isle, Meister of Guns, Ruiner of Grandmas, Judger of Fashion, Closer of Doors, Harold of Christmas. <laughs> Closer of Doors, I like that. I was just lost at Harold of Christmas. Harold of Christmas, yeah. Did oh, they spell? It, did, oh, did they did they spell it like the name? Yeah, I guess. Did they mean Harold of Christmas? <laughs> H A R. Yeah. Oh, that's the name. A Harold, <laughs> which is actually kind of, that's actually an incredible coincidence right now, because I'm 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 playing a Guild Wars uh, two game mission. I'm fighting an enemy called the Herald of Balthazar. <laughs> What an incredible coincidence. That's actually kind of nuts. Never, never, ever. <laughs> and so when you, you, you pronounced it very distinctly, Harold, uh -huh. with that A, that, that A sound that you make, because you, you have an English accent, which is like a... Well, I would say Harold if I was saying Harold. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's why... Um, I was like, did they spell it like the name, and that's why you were confused? Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, they did. All right, going on three just gives you too much. Well, you are apparently the Herald of Christmas. <laughs> the Herald of Christmas. <laughs> not the Herald. That is kind of funny. And with the... That was great. That was a great little tangent on the spelling of Herald and the incredible Queen 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 I love at the beginning of the movie the Cardinal gives Van Helsing the stereotypical police sergeant speech. You're reckless, but damn it, you're the best cop we got. I mean, yeah, man, it's just true. I mean, that's kind of what he is. He's like the uh, Pope Cop, which sounds like a fun movie. Pope Cop. Fun universe, uh, Van Helsing. I want Hugh Jackman to reprise the role. Make him hunt. I don't know. Nosferatu. Oh, no. I mean, have him train the next Van Helsing, you know? He's the older guy, but he's super experienced, and he's wise, and he's smart, and he's learned a lot. Mm. And he has to train the new plucky go-getter, vampire slayer, monster hunter. Well, make it happen. Fucking do it. I mean, they'll ruin it, and it's going to be a chick who takes over, and she's going to be way better than him at everything, and she's going to have basically no personality except for asshole snark. But, you know, it's something. It's something. Van Helsing, you mean the hot werewolf movie? Um, yeah. I mean, you know, whatever yeah. floats your boat, right? Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever floats, yeah, yeah. Uh, Runer yeah. of Grandma. Okay. Connell's speech. You shall not pass. Fly, you fool. <laughs> also, high rags. Sean Connery has ascended. Sean Connery. You can go say hi to Wilford Brimley. They can talk about movies. Rags, do you recommend, recommend Guild Wars 2? Yes, I do. You I don't recommend it a lot. Right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her hmm. chamber. And she will probably kill us. What would if, be the monster of the new away. movie? Um, I just have to look into, like, we haven't done Creature of the Black Lagoon, right? I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, yeah. Don't in there. She's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's like I said, I, I, I think I want an enemy that's more terrestrial, yeah, you know, that isn't what a nasty about water. She was, honestly. Because that just isn't Well, we wouldn't want to have just one anyway, right? Yeah, there would be a bunch. There would be the, the ultimate bad guy. Throw the Invisible Man in there. Oh, you could have an Invisible Man, but I feel like the Invisible Man wouldn't be the villain. He'd be kind of well, like Frankenstein was. Yeah, that's, the first, that's the role we could have him play, right? Yeah, people think he's a monster and they don't give him a chance. And no, Or kind of like how um, 
like in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Speaking of Sean Connery. Which uh, we will watch that Alan ready Connery. for next Halloween release, probably. But yeah, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen had a uh, um, Invisible Man in it, Skinner. And um, he was very untrusted because he could turn invisible. So whenever something goes missing, of course, he blamed the Invisible Man. And you know how it is. Wasn't it? Was his name Adrian that everyone liked, but he turned out to be a bad man? The one who, like, with the painting and he can, like, heal. Oh, Dorian Gray. Oh, sorry, not Adrian. Yeah, Dorian. <laughs> yeah, the picture of Dorian Gray. He was a villain. And it had Nemo in there, Captain Nemo. That is one. That that movie. That's gonna be a funny fat movie, I reckon. Yeah. What a what a film. What a film. Don't touch anything else. Despite the dated CG effects, Van Helsing is still a fun movie to watch. Cheesy gothic action, fun is how I would describe it. Yeah. Hell yeah, it's great, man. Other thing, fun covers a lot. There are things in Wonder Woman 84 that are fun, but not in any way the same way I describe Van Helsing as fun. Yeah, Van Helsing's fun and Wonder Woman 84 is fun. Like, you, you can have fun with Van Helsing that isn't at Van Helsing's expense. But basically, all of the fun in Wonder Woman is at the expense of the movie. Mm -hmm. The movie's shit. Cows are okay? Who cares about cows? Why wouldn't they have rhinos? I, I guess, you know, it was, this was before rhinos really came to prominence. Before their, their milk powers were mm -hmm. discovered. Uh, also, Werewolf Brother, how is he staying on the wall when he changes? It's a, Gravity thing. We always have control of gravity to some degree. It's part of the curse. Like can't uh, like yeah. can't curse. We we'll just chalk Icky it up walls. to that. Um, yeah. Um, Soma felt deflating to beat it the first time, but I appreciate why. The story in World is much richer than the Dark Descent, despite being bleak. Rebirth could have brought that to amnesia and been a blast of a uh, best of both worlds. Yeah, Re Rebirth wasn't a best of anything. Yeah, Rebirth was a. You know her? It's been a long time. But it does make you appreciate how good the Dark Descent and how Soma are. It really does. It's mm -hmm. like all of the terrible movies we cover. Yeah. They make you appreciate the good stuff. Oh no, 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 Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're You uh you play Paul too, right? But I think we can put our differences behind us. Level one for science. Yeah. I have. Cool is awesome. People are asking, like, why aren't you or, playing the co-op? It's like, well, I mean, I never even played the campaign on EFAP before, but me and Rex could play the co-op one day. Yeah, we could. You must really Although I don't think it will work that well for Super Chat Catch Up, because it's all about, like, it shit tons of figure puzzle out and then coordinate. First. So there's not a huge amount of time for answering questions. And one uh, of us will always be figuring out the puzzle. Someone, James is asking, why did Wonder Woman get two negatives and one positive with her wish? She gets Chris Pine back positive, but he takes over someone else and Wonder Woman loses her power. I don't know if the film considered him taking over someone else as a negative, honestly. I didn't yeah, even realize. they just sort of don't even really think about that, which is mega fucked up. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, they just don't ever really talk about that. And uh, I feel bad for all the film critics out there who thought the film was good and hadn't realized that element because they had to they had to make the mistake of publicly praising the film and then be like, oh shit, I had no idea that was happening in it. Yeah, I guess in a weird way you could be forgiven for forgetting because the film certainly doesn't even really bring it up. Or you could double down like a lot of them will do. Yeah. Well, actually, thematically... Can you believe it? A lady made it. It's even worse. Lady's supposed to make films that are good for messages. That's how. That's that makes sense, right? Again and again, forever. Men are the ones that always make the creepy, weird films. Yeah, men are the bad ones. Luckily, I'm a bigger person. Happy Halloween! Happy, Happy Halloween. It's my birthday today, and EFAP is the perfect home. gift for me. I'm at Universal Studios in Orlando, so I'll catch this on Moolah when it gets posted there. All hail Halloween. Oh, I'm chill with that. But, uh, you know, um, Orlando Studios, you ever been there? Orlando? No. 
No, I think, yeah, I don't think I've had, I've have not been to Orlando. Nor have I. I love the masquerade, but that whole sequence hurt my soul, especially when the mirror reveal comes. Why? Hurt your soul? Because everybody was vampires? Well, everyone was, oh, okay. Um, yeah, that was weird. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Was it? Why was it weird? The the masquerade where it turns out that everyone's vampires. Yeah, I guess they're just his own little private army of vampires. I don't I know. Guess. He never mentions it before, and they just sort of pop up for this ball. And they'll get and vaporized. They all die. <laughs> and he doesn't really care that much by the looks of things. He's like, oh well. And if they ever do a Van Helsing remastered, I want them to go to the mirror, and I want them to have just the clothes and the reflection, but none of the uh, none of the faces. But it makes clothes invisible too, right? God. I don't, I, I don't think so. You saying the vampires don't make a lot of sense? I forgot how good you are at this. Yeah. You should pace yourself, I mean, though. I think that was just a budget thing, because they would have had to animate all of those clothes on all those people dancing in the back, but... I'm trying to think of other instances of them fun. doing it. It is, it is definitely easier to just have it so that your vampires don't reflect clothes. Yeah. Uh, funny, you're covering a review of Darkness Falls the day after I start re-watching your Amnesia vs. Soma videos where you first mentioned it. Yeah, um, I can't remember the context exactly. I think it's just stuff that scared me. Um, and I know that Amnesia, when I first played it, I was like, oh my goodness. Games can be spooky. Oh, I scared the shit out of me. And then I played Rebirth and... It definitely surprised me, you know? It annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> One scared the shit out of me, one annoyed the shit out of me. Either way, the poo had left the doggo. Mm -hmm. But it just wasn't quite the same. Well done. Here come the test results. Uh, because of COVID, I don't have any Halloween plans. You massives always keep me in company in my spare time, but I especially appreciate you all today. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if they are here right now. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Rags, what did you think of Mandalorian Season 2 Episode 1? Oh my god. It was bad. I like it, but Mando makes stupid decisions and there are huge conveniences. Five out of ten. Well, that is generous of you. Yeah, yeah. Like, our main character's retarded, also the plot doesn't make sense. But... Um... <laughs> but apart from the fact that basically everything is terrible except for the graphics and the soundtrack, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Only players help me feel vindicated about watching so much NC in my teens. Oh, because of all the references, so it's like worth it. I can understand that. That makes sense. Um, I've heard people constantly walk up to Mila Kunis and say, Shut up, Meg. Probably annoying. Yeah, it does sound... Um... I just like the idea, though, that we had a super chat asking what we think of episode one of Mando. It's like, oh my god. That person probably had a whole roller coaster to go through. Congratulations. Not on Use the game client from their website the instead. I don't even know what that's referring to. Uh, me neither. My, my girlfriend and I went to a local spare ribs restaurant for a version of the Movie Bob challenge. We failed, but there's two upshots. One, we had spare ribs, and two, we now have spare ribs. I get it. Gogur just made this. I'm the herald of Christmas. <laughs> You are navigating these the test chambers Herald. faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and... Um, how do I get that on the thing? Hang on. Green. Um. Always so much more complicated when I'm streaming a game. Where are you? There you are. Harold's... Hard raid Rex no what what words are those? Rags, you can translate all languages, right? Or like Wonder Woman. Uh Rex is King, Herald's Herald. Um Ardrata, not sure what that is. Nor yeah, I, I can't read that last word. 
Well, the important thing is your herald. That is the important thing. Uh, that's fine. Right. Who is playing Mahler or Rags? Mahler is playing. Yes. Here's another demand I have for you, Dumbos, while playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Don't use the client from Steam okay, since the community tab has spoilers front and center. They really want us to play that, huh? I guess they do. Uh, I remember Sean Connery in The Avengers when he was a teddy bear in a teddy bear suit. Yeah, that's a movie I've not actually seen. The uh, original Avengers movie. Maybe that'll be fun. Remember Linkara and the green M&M thing? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's uh, not something that you just... Do, do you know about that? No. Um, I could be paraphrasing here, right? Because I, I haven't seen it in so long that I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure the, the meme is that his accounts on different porn sites were found. And yeah. he had some porn fetishes. And the top two that I remember, uh, I always explain the first one. Well, rather, I say the first one, and then you you will find it amusing. But then there's another one that beats it out. Um, so one of the, one of his top fetishes, I believe, was the green M and M. Continue the testing. Really? Oh yeah, the chick. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you know I. You just wonder with stuff like that. You're like, where did the, how did that happen? All right, I guess it was the eyelashes, probably. Well, you know, she had the. She, I think she had different shoes. Got some sass to her as well, I guess. Oh yeah, she had some sass to back up that ass. Um, Except I don't know if she had one because she's an M and M. I don't. I don't know how you could give different body types to M and M. Because they ultimately have this to be, you know, M and Ms. It was part of an initiative but um, yeah, and uh, definitely an unusual fetish, but um, to each their own, I suppose. But the number one that I think beats it out was uh, they could not. was was, 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 was uh, dead Muppets. Dead Muppets, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's so specific and strange. <laughs> that is a very strange one. Muppets were never alive, but. If it only gets gets you going once they're dead, I don't know. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little. That is a very odd one. Gets to the point where you're like, everyone should share their hyper specific out of context fetishes because it can make some really good laughter. I thought that was interesting. If I have any crazy ones, and if I did, I wouldn't share them. So there you go. Oh, not you. But people like Linkara go nuts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, everyone yeah, everyone knows I got some weird shit. They would be shocked if I didn't. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the next test is. Hello, I'm a nostalgia critic. I moist it so you don't have to. No, molest it. Oh my goodness. Moist it. I thought oh it said goodness. moist it. <laughs> Your innocent mind. What does it mean to moist something? You know, moisten is the word we want, right? Good old English. Moisten. I mm. moisten it so you don't have to. Uh. Nostalgia Critic, let's do skits, EFAP. Let's not say... Let's not say and we did. Let's not and say we did. Ah. I'm, I'm assuming that's what that means. Yeah. That's, um, you know what? Let's just not say it or do it at all. Let's just nothing it. We can just skip. Yeah. Let's just not... Let's not even say we did. There are better things in life to do than skits. Uh, there's a sticker. Thank you. The best Nostalgia Critic review with Skit was about the room. I really enjoyed that. It also made it possible for Nostalgia Critic to interview Tommy later. What's the thing? Nostalgia Critic, I guess, had his position on the internet a decade ago. When things were just... Still has a position, alright. Well... It's just a weird position. Yeah, I meant it as more of a... Um, like, influential Status. and entertaining and... I, I hesitate to use the word beloved, but appreciated. The These days it's more... Oh, look, there he is. He's still going. He's got a dedicated fan base, but, you know, so does everyone. I wonder if they are dedicated rather than they just trade it out over time. Like, they get to a certain age and then they leave, but then new young people come in, like, woo! Uh, ba -ba -boom. Let's 
just go a little further. Uh, because it's the best holiday, I won't ask you to read the Jar Jar lines. Happy Halloween, Count Spooku, and Hi Wrong Rags. What, what does that mean? Hi. Wrong Rags? Mm-hmm. Not possible, for starters, so I'm not sure what that means, but, I mean, hello, I yeah, suppose. Had, our scientists have been studying it. They haven't come across it yet, but... Yeah. Uh, today may not be the best holiday, but it's still a great one. Hi, Rags, Mutually M, and others. Hello. Hello. You says see, once in a video, he likes pregnant chips. Yeah, they're fucking hot. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I said, I've, I've said that plenty of times. There you go. That's one of my fetishes. Absolutely. But they're oh, alive. Do you, know, do you know what? And they're also not a candy. Do you know what? Oh, I need to remember it because it was so. Strange. Um, I think it was like. I think I was asking like, what gets? Uh, I think I was in a call with Jane. And I was like, what? You have to imagine like, what is some? What is the core? Of some fetishes are just like, how did that even happen? And um, I think I can't remember which one it was, but it was something really, 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 really bizarre. Um, fuck, this would be this would be way better if I could remember what it was. Uh, but I like, basically said, like, it was as strange to me as scat porn. Like, I just don't get it. And Jay was like, well, in fairness, it's a bodily fluid. Yeah, but so was, like, blood and pus and <laughs> cerebral spinal fluid, so... I just started laughing. He was like, I, what? And I don't I was think like, that's... I don't know that that I helps, don't think that's like... Enough. <laughs> yeah, I just... I just feel like there's so much more to answer for. And yeah, the first counter example I gave was pus. Does anyone find pus hot? I don't think so. At least I'd I'm hope sure not. Sure, some people do, but that's why we call it a fetish. Mm. See, for instance, someone- Oh yeah, 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 that was it. He thought that scat made more sense than feet. What? Yeah. Why? Oh, well, that's why I, he was like, in fairness, scat is um, a bodily fluid. It's like- Yeah, but feet are a body part. Yeah. I think it makes, makes way more sense uh, to be, be turned on my feet. feet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think it's odd, but mm -hmm. it's mostly just because it's it's not disgusting. It's just odd. It can be because of, you know, feet can have an odor and stuff, but, you know, that's it's you know, that, that that's just person, up to the feet involved yeah. in there. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that's up to them. Yeah, and, and I didn't want yeah, to get into like a conversation weird. of what fundamentally should humans be turned on by, but I was just like, I'm sorry, I, ca I classify those two, like, feet comes above. Ironically. Yes. Uh, dude. So Let's... Rags, a severed head is also a body part. That's true, but I think well... <laughs> the severed aspect takes over from the body part aspect. And besides, at that point, like, surely we do use that as a qualifier or body part, because, like, you know, do we... Yeah. When you say someone, you know, when you say head, people don't think of a severed head. <laughs> not typically, no. I mean, not typically, yeah. Like I mean, boobs. like, Tim like, what about would, severed but boobs? most people, yeah. Every test chamber is equipped with an Why do they have to be severed, chat? Why do you have to do so that? Hmm? Subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of uh, test let's not say we did EFAP to Doug on skits. Did we skip any of his skits? I can't remember. Uh, not in... I don't think it's on our EFAP one, because we listened to his weird Elvish voice song. Oh. <laughs> Dankula was losing his shit with that. <laughs> I would pay money to hurt the nostalgia critic. Wow. Some I don't know about that. I, I, I am... I can't be angry at him. I'm happy he exists, I just wish he was better. Remember? That's yeah, all. me too. In the last test area that did not have one. I don't think he's like bad or anything. Um, Alright. Um, Halloween is my favorite holiday, so it really sucks that I can't do anything today. Watching you boys fills the spooky void, so cheers to you. Aww. Oh. Yeah, we had a double stream on that Halloween. Meanwhile, Christmas had three streams, and we were also with our families. Talk about nailing, uh, just, just efficiency, you know? Hmm. Speaking of pewds and Minecraft, do a watch of episode 6, most epic one. Editing was on a whole new level. All the unscripted emotions, the drama. Uh, I have never watched PewDiePie play Minecraft, I, I'll be honest with you. Me neither. I mean, I'm sure, I'm certain he's entertaining. Mm -hmm. I really, I... Clearly, he's got an, uh, an an incredible talent for doing that, but I'm just uh, 
It's not my not my thing typically. I've watched mm. some of his videos and I've been dying laughing, but it's just not my normal thing that I'm into, I suppose. Happy Halloween! Don't worry, Rags. Christmas will now dominate the next two months because who gives a cluck a about Thanksgiving? Aw. It's a shame because I really enjoy Thanksgiving. I uh, I was really upset that I had the flu during Thanksgiving. It was mm. really uh, it really was a shame. I've seen all three of his movies like five times. Dark Walker. Um, I guess that would be the the community movies he made. Yeah. Well, you know, good for you. Um, you found movies watching the Nostalgia Critic movies when? Oh. I don't know that it's legal for us to watch those. Like, it would just be such a crime to be put crime through against them. humanity. Yeah. Oof, I don't know if I had the courage to watch them. <clears throat> um, do Kikassia EFAP movies, Sabib and Knights 2. Oh. <laughs> Did you ever see any of those? Suburban Nights? Yeah, it's like um, Nostalgia Critic and a bunch of reviewers teaming up to make a movie. No. <laughs> no. It's probably fair. Um, it's, it's, it's They are little pieces of history for the internet. It's nuts because like, Lindsay Alice is in all of them. A history she probably wants to scrub clean from the internet. She's traded out one embarrassing for the more socially acceptable embarrassing. Oh, totally. Uh, too bad you didn't invite V to give his historical accuracy take on Transylvania. Oh. Romanian Transylvania. Yeah, they're close enough. Yeah, yeah. Roman. Are we gonna cut? Was Lindsay? Was she the one who made all those rules and most of them were shit? No, that was. What's her name? Um, Lily Orchard. That's the one. Orchard. All right. When I get when I get to this Mendo thing out, and then we have a stream on my channel, we'll go through all those. That'll make a fun stream. Oh hell yeah! There's so many discussions you can have from all of them as well. Absolutely. I think they those those things are just like conversation fodder, man. It's great. Uh, what are your thoughts on Halloween 1978? Hmm. So. One of the things that were planned but didn't happen for this Halloween, and we'll just probably do it for the next one, depending on what's going on, is watching the original Halloween and the new one. And, like, I've never been that fond of the original Halloween. I understand what it did for, for spooky slashes and stuff, and, and why it's respected. But at the same time, the new one was special bad. You know when you're dealing with guy goes around stabbing people rags you wouldn't have thought you could fuck that up right yeah they fucked it up big time um and i'm looking forward to that being any fat movies for the next halloween hopefully it's, it's, it's surprising the first time i watched it was just like spare of the moment with um fucking it was glib and cynic snacks i just happened to be in a call with them and i was like want to watch the new halloween I was like, okay it was really bad um, I think Nostalgia Critic is a heavy smoker, which would explain his teeth. It's always been like that. He also poops with the door open, like rags. That's... I don't poop with the door that's... open. That's slander. Yeah. Uh, why don't watch Halloween on Easter? That's not how Halloween works. There are strict rules. Uh, this was sent during the accountant joke. Nostalgia Critic actually made a video discussing when a joke goes too far. He made a, a video saying that there's times where a joke goes too far, huh? Enjoy this next test. Is it because I'm someone made a joke about him? Oh, I just I just find it funny that he thinks yes, there's a limit because he often here. runs he jokes into test, well the underworld, I guess. Maybe he means like morally. Oh, maybe. And, yeah. I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. and if there's anyone I want to take moral advice from, mm -hmm. it's Doug Walker. Uh, glad the black man is the smart accountant and not being killed first. This is super cringe. Rags, also, could you please sit on my face? The boy season one style? Mm. Is that the boy season one that they do that? I thought it was season two. Can't even remember. Oh, no, no, yeah, season one where she blows a guy's head open because of that. I remember. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. Um, 
G'day fellas and rags, glad to catch a stream, too bad it's 3am here, so time to start my day drinking early and smash a block of bush kook tinnies, lads. Yeah, boy. I mean, yeah, whatever all of that means, I agree. Mm -hmm. Snorfest? I wonder if they're referring to it being boring, covering a nostalgia critic or not, I don't know. It says Sean Connery died. Rue. A back credit card? They gave him a back credit card? They had the balls to give one of the greatest heroes of all time a credit card? No, 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 that does not compute. That is a quote from Nostalgia Critic, I think. Um, I don't know, I just found the back credit card later. What does he think that he would otherwise use? Normal credit card, of course. Not a bat one. Okay. Do you know that, um... It was going to be another Joel Schumacher Batman, but because of the reception for the Batman and Robin, it didn't happen. It was, uh -oh. um, it was going to be called Batman Unchained, and Scarecrow was going to be in it, and he was going to give him... Batman Unchained? Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be... Uh, George Clooney was hoped to come back, but he said no, because he he, <laughs> no. he, didn't, he did not like uh, his experience with that film, I guess. Or rather, I, I don't think it was like the experience of filming it, but just the film itself. Um, but uh, they were going to bring back all of the villains from the past four movies as like a big sort of a dream sequence type thing okay. from the Scarecrow's Nightmares and I was just like I I wish this movie was made I so want that movie to happen Cause we save the dream we still got Batman Forever from Joel Schumacher which is kind of like Batman and Robin not as crazy but still pretty crazy um, so yeah. that'll be a fun EFAP movies eventually Oh, I'm down with it. I hope it happens. There's still time. Where's the last thing George Clooney was in? Oh, well, is, there isn't any time because uh, Joel Schumacher died, unfortunately. Oh. Well, yeah. his spirit lives on through his art. Yes. He well, have, I saw like, people saying under the, the comment section of our coverage, they were like, you could at least say he loved the character and that Batman wasn't ruined by these films. And it's like, uh, I guess that's what kind of what... Batman and Robin is what it looks like when you respect the character but push it to the absolute craziness and its absurdity. At least, I, I guess. Yeah, um, it's not disrespectful, but it's silly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's silly but not disrespectful. Especially because yeah. Batman is like king of camp if you go back far enough. But like I've seen behind the scenes stuff and you know, there's a lot of talk about how Mr. Freeze is a very in-depth, meaningful uh, villain, and that there's an emotional arc there that's really important. It's just kind of like you think about yeah. him going, "Kill the heroes, yes!" And you're just like, yes. "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> it's really something else. I will agree there. Um. Fake action? The hell does that mean? Even pro wrestling, you can't fake gravity. This has to be one of the most action-packed soundtracks ever. Uh, Van Helsing soundtrack, I guess that's about. I honestly can't quite remember what I thought of the Van Helsing soundtrack. The test. I didn't see the deer today. I Do you remember any of it, Ranks? The Van Helsing soundtrack? Mm. No, I would... But that's generally a good thing? I mean, if I was to like, listen to them in isolation, uh, maybe they're good. I don't know. Yeah, and we were probably being blown away by the incredible action, the cool CGI, the sexy werewolves, and all the silliness that was happening in the actual film. Maybe it just got overdone by... Maybe the soundtrack just got kind of overshadowed by all that stuff. Uh, has better CGI than Batgirl. Dun, 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 dun. Sure. Batgirl. Do you mean Batwoman? Because yeah, Batwoman's budget is low. These are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Um, did you guys also see the animated prequel where he goes after Hyde? No. Where he goes after what now? Yeah, uh, Mr. Hyde. No. I'd be interested to see it, though. That could be something we watch. Yeah, maybe. Like, maybe, like, again, if we ever get the, the itch to see more Resident Evil, there are some animated ones, some uh, some animated 
uh, Resident we still Evil see, that we could take a look at. Uh, the Monster Hunter, the new Monster Hunter, that's gonna be something. Indeed. Pure excitement. Uh, all I'm getting is CV vibes, and I don't like it. It's also obvious that the sun bomb is actually the holy hand grenade. Um, I mean, that'd be a pretty good reference, you know? I've been a fan a while and introduced my boyfriend to Moller and EFAP, and we love it. Thank you from the greatest content. Wait, thank you for the great content and look forward to more. P.S. He just proposed to me and will be married next summer. Aww. Oh, wow, that's great. That's awesome. Another love story success. On EFAP. Due exclusively to EFAP, for which mm -hmm. we are owed the credit. Yes. Yeah, I hope that all works out great. Uh, <clears throat> introducing people to EFAP. I always picture that being an interesting sell, you know? It's like, oh, it's like a thing where they... Start with EFAP movies. That's probably going to be an easy intro, you know? Yeah, I'm thinking so. It's not complicated. It's nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I did watch the uh, the Gotham High. Fucking incredible. Oh, yeah, you it's should all watch. So I was tempted to show, like, the first few minutes of that on the next EFAP, just to promote it, because fucking hell, the editing is so good on that. That comic books artwork, I kind of forgot how awful it was. <laughs> how terrible it The it's goblin like hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> my stuff. It the comes across they're not even trying, like... They must be joking, that sort of thing. The boom. You are a predator, and these tests are your prey. Uh, happy Diabetes Pagan Day Massives. Gotta miss this one, but I love Van Helsing, so can't wait to catch it later. Do 103 Super Chats already, or I'll res Diabeto and have him steal your Diabetes Pagan Day candy. So, 103 Part 1... <laughs> I think was in Resi Part 2, and 103 Part 2 is in the meme fab that we have recorded and that we'll release in January. And 103 Part 3 will be done probably live as soon as that meme fab goes up for the sake of continuity. That's why I'm on 109 right now. Um, there's not a huge amount of 103s left, but there is a large amount of the boys ones left, which we will have to do one big chunk, I imagine, but um, don't worry, still got them all in track, still got all the Streamlabs ones caught up as well. We will get there. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty passionate about film, and you've all inspired me to pursue YouTube. What's the best way of getting started on critiquing film through a YouTube channel? Mm. Oh, um, Speaking of which, I was researching sharks. Man, I, I actually don't do have any experience critiquing film for an EFAP or, or for a uh, YouTube you channel. Because that's wrong. I mean, uh, it's not going to be too far away from a TV show, right? Nobody but yeah, I suppose so. Um, Rags actually helped me a lot with relationship stuff. Hell yeah. Um, oh yeah, that was in the Christmas one, right? Yeah, I, this. I, would, I think so, yeah. But it could be all the other just general advice. And, you know, if anyone was going to emulate me well, then, of course, they would have no issues at all <laughs> maintaining healthy relationships. They'd have to bat those girls away with a stick. Take um, a bitch to the zoo. Yeah, take that bitch to the zoo, man. That's my fucking you golden rule. Um, your one room for starting a channel. When you die, um, I guess have interesting, eye-catching editing that isn't deceptive or manipulative. I mean, or do. That will really help your channel, your certainly. Um, be accurate. Be insightful. Be someone that you can imagine someone recommending, you know? Give people a reason to go to you and remember you and to come back to you after they've seen you. And on the script end, um, of course the golden redraft rule, but um, when you start, feel free to be, you know, a complete mess in terms of just getting all of your ideas and thoughts, what you want to say about this thing. And then look at what you put on that paper slash notepad slash recording and be like, hmm, what's what's happening here? What am I what am I doing? And try and categorize the thoughts into sections. This is the thing. I feel as though whatever you want to say will almost define your format. Um, with me, I just uh, I usually end up going chronological because I have so many things to say. I, it's the seemingly simplest format, but not always, you know, not always. Yeah, chronological is a big help. It helps when doing response videos, of course, but going through movies, 
it helps a lot too. It helps when you know when to bring up issues, which can still be sort of an issue. You know, do you bring it up at the beginning or do you bring it up at the payoff of it or the supposed payoff or kind of up to you, but it'll be relevant either way. Yeah, like if someone's established to be X and it's Y in the end, it's like, I guess I'll make sure that I signpost it as X and then we will talk about it when it becomes Y. Or you could be like, fuck it, I'll talk about it now. I just want to talk about, uh, you know, inconsistent objects or power levels straight away. Because that's something that, you know, I'm tooling with with my boys thing. It's like, do I want to... When do I want to have the big discussion about inconsistent powers? Should it be... Let's say there's 100 instances. Should I do it at instance 20, instance 50? Or once I've gotten all of them, and I'd be like, right, it's time to talk about, you know, why it's bad to have inconsistent powers. Someone says, Rags talks about relationships like a Wall Street banker talks about the stock market. You know what? That's quite the compliment. I mean, yeah, you're saying Rags understands them really well? Or is the negative connotation that you treat them coldly? It's like, oh my god. Well, it's not like Rags can give you specific personal advice because it'll depend on every person you're with, right? Yeah. It's like, how should I deal with Sheila, Rags? She's a big fan of chess. And you're like, alright, I guess, you know. <laughs> Get her well, like all bitches, you want to show a chest an interest. Yeah, you want to show an interest in her interest. You want to ask her questions about it. You want her to feel like you are listening to her, and that you at least have a surface level of caring. Even she doesn't even have to know that you care about chess. She just has to know that you care that she cares about chess. That's yeah. Women really like it when you um, remember dates and remember events that were significant as well. This next test involves Taurus. Um, but you, you know, not them. every one of them. Yeah, see, maybe I someone can't help care. you with Taurus. Sheila. I'll wait. That's you in five seconds. Good luck. You're welcome. You can have that one for free. I hope there's a Sheila watching right now. Sheila. Good old Sheila. Sheila. Also high rags. Belch. Hello. I love this movie, I don't care what people say, it's a guilty pleasure. My boyfriend, now fiancé, and I watched it for our first Halloween together last year. Oh. Wait, which movie? They're talking about Van Helsing. Um, oh, that's great. That's uh, That seems like, that's legitimately a really solid foundation to build a relationship on, is Van Helsing. I'd say so, yeah. The fairies have found you. Your only chance to not be yift for all eternity is to be cancelled off all social media and labelled a pariah by all. Using only one tweet. What do you write? Also, hi, Rags. Hmm. Oh, hello. So this is to not be yift for eternity. And you have to write something that basically just destroys your online presence forever. Um. I don't know. Uh, Mandalorian is bad. Atlas bad. <laughs> Hey man, we've managed to survive, so I don't know. We're all right. Uh, yeah, maybe that's just a testament to our incredible prowess. My God, and skill. Um, you wanted to be hated by everybody, and you only had a tweet. I don't know if it's possible, because everyone, if it's a tweet, then people can just assume that either you were hacked or you said something that requires more context, or you know. But besides, uh. If the only benefit is you don't get yift, but you also lose everything else, internet-wise, it's like, oh man, is that even worth it? I don't know. Um... Leonard Nimoy voiced Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in the Page Master. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. I didn't know that. I remember liking that. I watched that one as a kid. Is that with uh, Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. I thought so. That's going to be one... I vaguely remember it, and I know that if ever I watch that again, it's going to be a blast of like, oh shit, these are these are sounds and images that I have memories of that I've got no context for, but now I do. Which is always fun. Hola, EFAP. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. What is your favorite local spooky legend in your area? Where I'm from, we have the Montauk monster that washed up 12 years ago. Pix terrified me as a kid. Um, we don't really have any local spooky stories as far as I know. Do you have any demon bears over in Arkansas ranks? Uh, no, there's always the, you know, there's always the terrifying myth of the 
displaced California resident coming to live here, but um, oh, no. there is, I mean, not really. You never really hear about, you know, not not urban legends or anything like that. Not around here. Maybe there are some. I just never really grew up with them or knew about them. Yeah, I'd have to go search. Yeah. Um, guys, Sean Connery just passed away. Mm hmm. A normal EFAP and a meme fap in the same week, just when I thought I was catching up. Oh Man, we haven't even caught up. Can you believe it? Goodness gracious. Uh, hi, Ragu Blaga Doggo Wom Diddly. Hello, Gado Ojinobado Bogado. And hi, Muglaboof. Whoa. I love the Knights of EFAP. I think Jay's arc will lead him to be. Twi'lek with large mama milkers. Oh my god. Yeah, the Knights of EFAP's fucking amazing. Um, a spook who makes those. Has has his own diddly dang TV show at this point with those. Love it. Speaking of Mr. Hyde from Page Master, the scene where horror is being pulled by him into a dark abyss laughing maniacally to me sums up communism. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout is crap, average at best. Ooh. Yeah, that's not true at all. I mean, if it is average at best, good god. 99% of content is just terrible then. 99.9 even. Yeah, um, Mission Impossible Fallout's really good. Fucking great. <laughs> it's like it's really good, y'all. I mean, that was a movie where I was expecting to sort of watch it as a, just another movie to keep up with the time, and I was like, holy moly, this is good. Because, like, Mission Impossible yeah, films don't like, usually surprise me like that, and... I don't know, Fallout was special, what can I say? There we go. Freddy Krueger is based on a real phenomenon when Vietnam War refugees died in their sleep or suffered from nightmares, nothing like that happened since. It's a medical experiment. Uh, PTSD definitely still happens. Yeah, um, I was gonna say the specific yeah. of them dying in their sleep from nightmares. I, I feel like that's probably something that could happen in places outside of Vietnam. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. But uh, an interesting thing for it to be based on, for sure. On other people at Chat, how many of you stare at the EFAP border now? Well, for anybody who hasn't oh, noticed. Steve Jives is getting a divorce. Oh no. Oh. Is it, interesting, I haven't heard that name in a while. Is it because he finally couldn't take being told he was sexist for liking Angel more than Buffy? Because that'll be a factoid I will never get bored of. Fucking crazy. He of course, in true cuck Steve Jives fashion, says that it was, um... Let's see, it won't go into details for the reason of separation, but it suffices to say that it resulted from my poor choices, not hers. Uh -huh. Of course, Steve. Of course it did. To be honest with you, I'm I kinda... sure any psycho <laughs> bitch who would be willing to put up with you for 15 years never made a bad decision in her life. Good old Steve. Oh, man, Is... the, the ultra cuck. Isn't there a video of his people want us to cover or whatever? Some media related, oh, I can't I'm remember. Sure. Uh, we could always check out his channel every once in a while and see if there's anything crazy. I mean, there is, of course. He's a super weirdo, lefty, feminist type. Um, yeah, it should be interesting for people to stare at the EFAP border because of the little laser that makes itself all the way around, if you can call it that. I've seen some people say that they just get entranced by it. You know? That's why it was designed that way. It's to trick you into liking EFAP through a laser. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic uh, Thanks, boys. New EFAP is the I'm best birthday present I've gotten all day. Oh, and hi, Rags. I'm Halloween is better, in my objective opinion. <gasps> oh, hey there. It's a small world. And, um, I don't know about that. I mean, you could make a wrong assessment. It's all right. Hmm. Mission Impossible Fallout is the best Mission Impossible. It's amazing. Ah. Yeah, it's fucking incredible. A war in the super chat. And yeah, I mean, it's top tier. Some oh, best we encourage such shit. things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Razor Fist says there's no bad Rambo movie. Uh, I haven't watched Rambo in so fucking long that... Like, I can't remember if I thought any of the Rambo movies were bad. Oh wait, the fucking new one was bad. 
New one was kind of hilariously was. bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't believe him. Maybe I don't doubt his passion for Rambo, but I just... Um... Do... Psycho Sleepover is a diamond in the rough slash Amazon. Psycho diamond Sleepover. Diamond in the Amazon? Do you, do you know of this Psycho Sleepover? Psycho Sleepo? Psycho Sleepover. Not familiar to me. I have no clue. Uh, today, October 31st, 2020, Sean Connery died in his sleep at age 90. One of my favorite actors ever, and the best Bond IMO. What a legend. Gonna have a drink tonight in his honor. Hope you lads do the same. I mean, yeah, he was, uh, he was my introduction to Bond, despite obviously being... Uh, I can't remember who was Bond at the time where I was actually watching movies, but... My dad fucking loved Sean Connery. Great. You know, that's... Not a suitable accent, but I mean, I just wanted to put on an accent anyway. And, uh, yeah, I think Goldfinger was my favorite of, um, his run. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I gotta put the thing, okay. Do you guys like Mega Man games? Have you ever played any? It's one of my favorite game series along with Zelda. Mega Man X is one of the best. I think, uh, funnily I've played... enough, Mega Man X is the one that I've played fully. Um, I played one on the Game Boy Advance, and I remember kind of liking it. Um, I played it enough, so I, yeah, I'd say I liked it. Um, I forget, it was the one where you didn't play as Mega Man, you played as the red one, Zero, right? Mm -hmm. He had, like, the laser sword, and he had the hair spike thingy coming out of him. Very anime. Um... Hmm. But that's the only one I think I've ever played. I haven't even played the original. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not a super fan of Mega Man, but from what I've played, I've enjoyed. Same as uh, Castlevania. In episode 6, is episode 6 the low point of Blind Manor? That's when I stopped watching. If you think that episode was good, I want to know why. So 6 is... The way you find out about the uncle's history. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> I was about to say the episode's excellent, but it's like, well, they all are, so. Yeah, um. I can understand, I guess, thinking that it's. the weakest? Generally, people go for some of the earlier ones as weakest, as far as I know, but that's mostly because it's. there's more setting up than paying off, which mm -hmm. I understand. Um. I mean, my favorite is episode 8. Um, yeah, my, I would call the weakest one the finale. There's just a couple of problems in it, but they're all like incredibly high caliber as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I would consider that the case as well. Um, but yeah, you know, like our takes on Bly, we will get that sorted out one day. Not rushing that one. Uh, we've got the initial set of recordings. I want to make more that we just talk about the episodes in depth sort of thing. And... Can't really get to doing that just yet. We got lots of things getting in the way. Like Wanda Whammon. And uh, all the Resident Evil movies, which was not in any sense of the word a waste of time. That was wonderful. I enjoyed that immensely. I'm sad there's not more for us to watch. Monster Hunter will have to do. Though I will say, you know, I enjoyed um, the last one, but man, what a disappointment considering the series as a whole. Oh, yeah. I think it's because they... I can't believe they just... They did not... They sort of just betrayed the character. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you mean betrayed the character of the movie, or... like? I mean, like, with the food smooshing and everything. Oh, God, yeah. And yeah. the whole... Cl it just... Mm. Trust me, guys, you're in for a fucking roller coaster with EFAP movies for uh, Resident Evil. That was a... That was fun doing all of them. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, um, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. You guys are finally covering Helsing? You talked about doing this years ago. Yes, thing. We do get around to everything yeah, we say we, we want to do. Trust me. I mean, these super chats are a uh, prime example. Uh, you guys ever going to do a Smash Bros. EFAP gaming? I want to see who wins between Rags and Molly. You guys should take bets for it. So I don't know how to make us able to do one on, like, Melee, but that would be the one I'd want to do. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not sure. We can figure out how to connect it through, like, some kind of weird Surprise. emulator thing, then, um, 
Yeah, we could have some fun with that someday. Oh, come on. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. <laughs> I'm seeing, like, so the back and forth takes about Bly Manor in chat. It's okay, guys. We're at peace with a bunch of people hating it. It's fine. Yeah, we get that a lot of people don't like it because they're wrong. But hey, a lot of people like Mandalorian. That's a plus. Yeah, they do. Um... Do, do have a happy and safe Halloween, everyone. And it's like a pumpkin ghost and a lollipop and something else. I can't make out those emojis. Uh, do, do, do. I second the Smash EFAP gaming. Use Project Slippy for Melee. They just implemented rollback netcode for it, so it feels like you're playing in person. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, certainly one day then, if there's like a whole thing made for it. I would be I would on be board. Doing that. Could be mucho coolio. <laughs> Fucking, this is kind of funny in retrospect. So people obviously watching us play, uh, uh, watch, sorry, Nostalgia Critic, and they know that we're going to be playing the um, Dark Pictures thing after it. And mm -hmm. so uh, Tickles had said, this is cringe, please play Madame Adad. Like, please get to the game. It's like, oh, did you really oh, prefer yeah. that? Did you? Did you? Did I mean I think, I think I preferred reacting to nostalgia critics to be honest, because there was just more things happening, you know. Fucking little hope. Oh, that game tests your patience. It tests the definition of game. Yeah. Uh, I usually watch the re-upload, and that's what I'll do here, but I just want to say that I appreciate you guys. Also, hello, Raggleton, you good dog. Oh, hello, and thank you. Yeah. Uh, any possibility of watching Diabetes' Guide to Building a Better Gamer? Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Tell John to bite the foam, he'll understand. I think that was said to him in another super chat at some point, and he laughed, so... Bite the foam. Ah. Uh, and as for watching Diabetes' Guide to building a better gamer. I think we're saving it almost for when we get Razor Fist on, if ever that happens. I have tried him on yeah. emails and Twitter, and I, I got nothing so far. So if eventually he wants to jump on, that is totally fine. We'll probably watch that video. I think it'd be fun. Um, happy Superior Holiday Massives. My God. Happy Halloween. And Christmas. And New Year's. We're almost at a decent point for all three. Finally, the infamous Nostalgia Critic on EFAP. And you got a double dose of him, too. Um, puts in third bullet equals scene too long. Half of his jokes equal SHFM. HFM? Yeah, I'm not sure. SHFM. And puts in third bullet equals scene too long. I guess that's referencing uh, Van Helsing, right? Yeah, when he puts the third bullet in. Shake my fucking head. Sorry, I've been drinking. Thanks, Doug. Oh, he meant to say, shake my fucking head. I see. Uh, think you can outwit me, do ya? You blasted interlopers. Summon the Kraken. A few more Davy Jones quotes. Oh... Does he actually call them blasted interlopers? That's another. We got to do the pirate series. That's going to be great when we do that. Free fat movies. They progressively get That'll worse. Be a, that'll be a nostalgia trip. Think you can whip me, do you? Blasted interlopers. I I, I find that I want to hear him say that. Blasted interlopers. Did he now? I'm sorely tempted to accept that offer. Fucking... Did I, did I tell you before, like, Bill Nye, when he was coming up with the accent for Davy Jones, he was gonna do Welsh, but he decided that, uh, Welsh wasn't, like, harsh enough. That he wanted the, like, the, the bite of Scottish. Hmm. I find it interesting, because, like... I think he's right, I think the Scottish hits harder. Um, do, do, happy Halloween, Booler and friends. Happy Halloween. 
Thanks for reviewing Nostalgia Critic. I used to watch him all the time when I was younger, but now I can't imagine him taking him seriously. The skits also killed it for me. Yeah, it gets a little tough. A lot tough. of people say that. A lot of people say that. It's almost like a children's cartoon that we all watched, but it just n never went away, and and now we started. I guess so maybe it's like Simpsons. Is there a comparison there? I don't know. Even though Simpsons has like managed to not be terrible in the latest episode that I saw, anyway. Not like Nostalgia Critic. Thoughts on Alien Isolation? Do you, uh, do you have thoughts on Alien I Isolation? I haven't played it. I have not played Alien Isolation. I played a bunch of it, but I got bored at the androids part, and then I tried to play it again, and I got bored at that part again, and I stopped again. So, uh... If ever one day I was to play it again, maybe I would just have to really just push through the Android section. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm afraid we got very li limited coverage on Alien Isolation. The one thing that I wanted to celebrate, though, was just how authentic it felt to Alien the movie. Uh, they worked really hard to try and recreate the feel. How did it make you feel? Bonjour tout le monde. Joyeux Halloween, officiellement. La douce mai milieu fête. Merci de m'avoir tenu compagnie pendant que je demasias et bonjour eggs. I think you understood most of that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You, wee oui, wee, oui, baguette. Mm hmm. For a second there, I was like, what are you lost? Do you need a dictionary? I don't think so. Oh. Yes, bonjour. I've lost all respect for you, Blind Manor. Your creaks are poor. Jokes aside, creaks I thought it was a slow that. burn, but episode 8 was great rat. Fucking, they're all great rat. <laughs> it is the greatest of rat. Might even say it's toxic rat, but in the good way. Hmm. <gasps> Don't re Doug reminds me of Alice from Batwoman. Probably thinks she's a good character. Lots of personality with that one. Yeah, it's just the infection of Quirk in like so much content, but Quirk is a substitute for character. Isn't it crazy that they do this thing? I'm like, whoa. MG. Boop. Uh, it's like jumping up and down by a Richter scale. Rags has better tinned. Tinned? Time jokes live than Nostalgia Critic has over hundreds of hours of scripted skits. I agree. I agree. Comedy is not his thing. <laughs> what is his Time thing, Rags? His thing is, um,. Perseverance. Hmm. He will Doug get the Walker job has done. Incredible perseverance. And I can respect his incredible perseverance. Uh, I will say, I think some of the tisms in the writing could use more drafts for a tighter script, at least dialogue wise, anyway. Don't know if that's referring to Van Helsing or not. Because I would agree if it's Van Helsing. Do you think they were talking about Bly? I if <laughs> if you think the dialogue in Bly is bad, I'd be curious what is considered good dialogue. But you know, you never know. Hmm. This should be nice and easy. Whoa. Oh well, you know that made it. Uh, Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka movie isn't bad. It's good, and so is his interpretation of Wonka. You guys just think it's too weird. Um, it uh, is weird. There's no way anyone's really fucking weird. arguing against that. Surely, I thought the whole fucking point of it was that it's weird. It's yeah, it's very very strange and weird. Um, as for whether or not it's bad, I just like we could probably talk about Faithful, but uh. I don't, like, I don't even remember a lot of that movie, I just remember it being fucking weird. I wanna... Do it. 
There we go. Uh, Boogie2988, Wings of Redemption, Movie Bob are locked in a room together. Which one eats the other two, and why is it Movie Bob? Um, I don't know. Boogie, Boogie might try to manipulate the others into eating themselves. Then you get hungry. But when then they... again, if there's one emotion that Movie Bob does not feel, it's pity. So, <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'd say Movie Bob is uh, would win. Besides, he only considers Boogie a small meal, I'm sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh. Okay, I'll just do this first then. Racist video game. The werewolf is Abby, and we have to forgive Abby, but anyways, guys, ooh woo rags. Ooh woo. The werewolf is Abby. Nostalgia Critic's unbridled cringe. Hey, you know, if it works for you, some people have been said to enjoy that sort of thing, maybe. Oh, that's where I gotta go. Uh, Dr. J's transformation was intentional, but Mr. H's actions escalate, so Dr. J stops taking the serum, then Dr. J's... Dr. J then starts transforming involuntarily. Um, so they don't need the serum? I, I guess, yeah, I, I don't know what was said that we um, would have would have counted that or anything. I guess it's just talking about the original Hyde Jackal story, I don't know. I suppose so. Yeah. I've always known it to be interesting, I've never like, um, I'm trying to think of all the times it's been adapted. I know they did it in the, um, in the Mummy movie, uh, with Tom Cruise, you ever see that? No, I never did. Russell Crowe was Dr. Jekyll. Oh my goodness. It was, uh, it was something. Oh man. Meanwhile at Marvel Studios, with the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman, we're going to need a new person to play Black Panther. Any ideas? That guy who just watched Tropic Thunder. Okay, hear me out. They... <laughs> They would not, uh, uh, they, think, they even said in their little, uh, Marvel, or rather the Disney announcement thing, I, 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 I guess, I think it was in the Marvel section, that they will not replace Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther in-universe, rather, it's going to be a new character will take his place. That makes sense to me. Yeah, and, uh, it'd be well, interesting to see what That's probably they do. what I'd do, too. In fact, that is what I'd do. I think that he played a good Black Panther in Civil War, and that there's no reason to replace him. So it'll probably be his sister, or the girlfriend, or maybe the bodyguard. Or it'll be some woman. The thing is, all the closest members of the family are all women, I think, so. I know some people will like, make it Killmonger, it's like, Killmonger died, I don't think. <laughs> like, it's, unless they bring back Killmonger. This, that would be narratively fucked if they made him Black Panther. The blue goo, the the blue the balls will bring him back to life. Just shove him down his throat and he can get resurrected. Do you feel death? Do you feel Federal that dark abyss? You All your deeds laid bare. All your sins punished. Right. I can offer you an escape. I'm telling you, man, they ruined him in the third one. He was a little cuck boy. Can't be doing that to David Jones. Um, but I don't know how, but Bill Nye turned out. Yeah, so for anyone who's confused, Bill Nye, the science guy, and Bill Nye are two very different people. Um, Bill Nye is in a couple of things. I'm trying to think of what he was in that you guys would know. He was in Underworld, but I don't know if anyone's seen that. <laughs> um, Bill Nye was in Underworld? You were in Underworld? Oh wait, Bill, Ni Bill Nye, not Bill Nye the Science Guy. All right, just, Bill Nye the Science just Guy was sure. in Underworld. You, you've seen Love Actually, right? I don't know. Hmm. Guys, remind me of what Bill Nye has done actor-wise that is mainstream. Oh, he was in Hot Fuzz, but he was only in it for like a... He was, he was Sean's dad in Shaun of the Dead. Um... He was a great vampire, that's true. Oh, 
I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. He was the Minister of Magic in Harry Potter. Someone said he's in Pirates of the Caribbean. It's like, yeah, that was the... He was in Little Nicky? I don't know that. Well, he's a cool actor anyway, and he nailed Davy Jones. We should bring him back in the adaptation, not adaptation, the re- Is it a remake or is it just all women? I don't even know. I'm sure it'll be great, whatever it is. It'll be match. Un uh, nostalgia Critics Unbridled Cringe. Oh wait, I read that already. <laughs> Uh, can we watch a total, please? The nostalgia critic is turning me into an alcoholic. Oh no. He was in Le Fromage. Oh, there you go. Petition to rename the Frankenstein monster to Victor Frankenstein Jr. Press 1 to sign. Um, well, if, if that's what you guys want, I'm not going to take it away. Did you ever see that movie, Victor Frankenstein? What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Came no, out like was that the one ago. that was done a couple years ago? Yeah. Like four years ago or something? No. Is it terrible? I I never knew. I donh uh, chat, is it terrible? Let us know. You thought movies love actually went. That could be a thing that we actually do. If we ever get you know, get it on time to have like a February's um Valentine's, isn't it? I don't think we'll be able to nail it this year, maybe next year. I think Rags might be a furry. Oh my god. Mm. What a slanderous thing to say. Terrible. Awful. Can't believe it. Uh, are you going to cover Robot Heads of the Boys Season 2 video? It's actually kind of bad. On, it I, is terrible. I mean, <laughs> anybody who's... <laughs> Listen, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, anybody who thinks that Season 2 of the Boys is good test. is uh, mistaken. Significantly. Yeah, it's it's one of the worst things I've ever seen. I say that a lot about stuff, but it's it does all of the things. It assassinates major characters. Its plotline is completely nonsense. Its world building's destroyed. The power levels are completely balked throughout. It fucks the first season and fucks itself. Like it's it. Ha I'm surprised, especially because the politics in it are blah. So, um, yeah, you know, good luck to anybody who thinks Season 2 is good. Part of why I want to cover it is that I'm like, wow, guys, did you not actually see how fucking terrible it is? Because, of course, I'm really happy with our Mando Season 2 coverage. I think we've nailed it uh, with the minis. Um, oh, yeah, uh, we cover a lot. I mean, the fact that the last one was, like, two hours and the one mm -hmm. before that was also two hours. Like, really goes to show how much there is to talk about how terrible this show is. Yeah, like if and how okay. much of a missed opportunity this show was. As much as they are titled reactions, we do a hell of a lot more than just reacting to the episode, you know? Yeah. Should probably title them like reaction slash review at this point. Uh if is is there like a, a the suitable portmanteau of reaction and discussion? Hmm. Cause uh Cause yeah, I mean they're like, if you call them a reaction, it's like, whoa, you get way more than you expect from that tile. But if you call them breakdown slash review, I don't know if you're like, not really getting that, am I? Well, maybe people feel they do. I don't know. Um, Mando coverage was really good. Yeah, the, the Mando minis uh, I worked pretty hard on the editing for those, and I feel like they should stay green for a while in terms of just useful sort of input on those episodes. At least if you're looking for someone to be critical on them instead of just saying, man, it was so fucking cool to see Luke Skywalker and Boba Fett and Bo-Katan and Ahsoka Tano and hearing oh, Thrawn's things. name. Oh, they said Thrawn. A round table? Will it coverage? I think coverage is a little bit too vague, though, you know? Um, something to consider moving forward. If anyone yeah. has good discussions, you know, definitely... You know, you them our way. I'll be honest with you, like, I was about to say we probably won't be doing it like that anymore for minis. They'll go back to being, you know, like the Batwoman ones, but I was like, to be honest with you, I, 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 we could end up doing it with The Boys Season 3, Mando Season 3, Boba Fett Season 1, who knows. 
because uh, we we'll just record the first episodes of whatever these shows are, and if they end up working, they end up having loads for us to discuss. Then a new series is born! Because uh, I think I said at the beginning of our recording of The Marshal being the first of season two, I was like, this might not even be a thing. Lucky for us, it was terrible. It was terrible. I say lucky, I just mean that we had something to say about it instead of just, well, that was fine. Yeah. Uh, Rags. Muller is obviously a vampire. Rags, would you bite him to potentially make him a badass hybrid? Depends Why on would him. I weaken him by putting the vampire into a werewolf? Well, I guess if he was a vampire, I would strengthen him by giving him they say werewolf. The old caretaker of well, if it's uh, Underworld or Van Helsing logic, you'd kill me by doing that. He, you see, your use of the word logic is amorphous <laughs> and generous. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. Uh, Dracula gets it's bitten, he's dead. I haven't seen Underworld, though. So, so, well, in Underworld, there's one person who gets bitten by both and is a hybrid, and uh, he's like a super special dude, but the rest of them just die. Oh. You gotta have the right uh, lineage, I think, to be able to survive the two bites. We'll watch the Underworld movies. They're, they're like Resident Evil, kinda. I don't think yeah. they're as cringe, but, you know, we can hope. Not a- Enderworld isn't as cringe as something? Oh my god. I know, it's terrible. Uh, stop judging Dracula's spine breaker couch. Oh yeah, you remember the spine couch? Um, I'm sure if I saw it, I would. I'm sure, um, when we have the EFAP movies coverage, uh, there'll be a nice zoom on it. Everyone can see it. Uh, hi Raggle Daggleton. Happy worse Hi. than Christmas day. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. Portal up it is worse than Christmas. Yeah, I, I, I buy, I'm, I'm picking up. Well, what in context, saying. I'm saying this today, the thirtieth is worse than Christmas. Like, yeah, I agree. I like the thirtieth, but it's just not quite the same. Thirty-first, though, that's some fun. We say goodbye to twenty twenty tomorrow. Can you believe it? Do you think everything will dramatically change across that that border? Oh, instantly. Exciting stuff. Okay, there's another wall over here. Uh, sorry that my sequel trilogy rewrites messages often come out of nowhere. Would Kylo personally go down to the planet if he knew the exact location of the droid since he went down personally earlier? Yes, because he wants to personally turn it into Snoke instead of having um, which who had the time. Who, which time are we talking about now? Huck, do it. I assume it's The Force Awakens, right? Well, he does it at the beginning of Force Awakens, and then he doesn't do it at the once they're at Jakku. They send the Stormtroopers after, right? So he, he should be there, yeah. For some reason, he sits in his room whining. I don't understand that at all, and I think it's because if he was chasing them, then they'd be in super amounts of trouble. He's a whiner. I'll tell you. That must be pathetic to write like that. It's like, well, we can't have him do that, so I guess I'll just have him... Oh, I gotta, I gotta come up with some. I guess he'll just be moping in his room. And then when someone's like... Uh, they escaped with a droid, and he's like, the droid stole a freighter. That's retarded. And it's like, yeah, I mean, if you were there, you know, maybe you could have stopped whatever this was from happening. Yeah, you can, you can sort of stop ships from taking off. Yeah, he's pretty powerful. Pretty crazy. Not as good as Ray, but... No, of course. Um, but yeah, he should be obsessed with it, not only because Snoke wants him to do this as a sort of, like, you've completed your tasks by doing it, but also because it... It's like his father is involved. He's, uh... Yeah, Kylo wants to kill Han quite a bit. Rest in peace, Sean Connery. He was the only one. He was the only... What? Bond? Highlander? Perhaps. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember my Highlander lore, like, at all. Me neither. Um, oh, oh. Van Helsing 2004 made God overpowered. <laughs> yeah, because he could erase memories. I mean, I think it's absurd to give God that level of power. Like, come on. Yeah, like, calm down. Can only be one. The story of... Job and the Book of Genesis, all these god powers ate pretty much canon. I think they mean are pretty much canon? I mean, for the character, yeah. 
Turret redemption lines active. I mean, there's no point even like referencing like times he committed to doing certain things with his powers if he's just all powerful to begin with, right? It's just like he could just literally do anything. Yeah, he can do things whenever, right? Turret redemption lines. Are Wouldn't it be cool to turn people into salt? That'd be interesting. I mean, very weird specific it be power. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be cool. If ever if you needed really salt on your meal, powerful. you'd just be like, well. I think at that point you'd just turn other objects into salt to avoid the carnage of like, oh no, you've, you've killed yeah, a person. Yeah, like, well, you know what would make this, you know, the, this steak perfect? You just look at someone nearby and they're like, oh no. <laughs> if only there was another way. Uh, I'll bring you salt, God. Why bother when there's salt right here? Mwahaha. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if he was funny, but oh man. He, he wants to be. Does that count for anything? I don't know. Probably not. Yo, Rags. Yo! Which are you voting for, Biden or Trump? Trump. Not that it matters. Um, this guy is the king of disingenuous pumpkins. Disingenuous pumpkins. What disingenuous? <laughs> I'm lost on that one. Yeah, you're gonna have to fill me in on that. Fucking disingenuous pumpkins, man. Uh, God had two she bears kill forty-two children because they mocked a man for being bold. When are you gonna review the Bible, EFAP? It's funny that literally happened. We, that I, I, was brought up I in the last EFAP gaming. Yeah, the last EFAP gaming. I was. Uh, yeah. I mentioned that story. I'm sure there's an amazing apologetic that explains why that's totally all right. Maybe the point of totally that story is that it's something that. that shouldn't have happened. Uh, <laughs> that's one way to get out of it, right? It's like, yeah, don't you, don't you get it? This was a bad thing. I want to see the vision of the story where they mock him for being bold, and he, like, laughs, and then carries on walking. Yeah, or he shows that he's the bigger man. Nah, God has to fucking rip them up. With bears too. Wait, why? Why was yeah. it specified that they were she bears as well? Because I've seen that a couple times now. I don't know. I, Are she bears more I violent? Or... Not sure. I'm honestly not sure. They probably are. Women, women, bears. When you do anything to a cub, they probably fucking go nuts. Now, if we pull out the template turret, um, yes, the watch the greatest showman, Moran. Moran? Accuracy doesn't speak to entertainment. So, so, so the moral of the story is that if you're God's homie, he will smoke anyone who tries to get at <laughs> God's homie. <laughs> well, said, nothing can stop God except for those pesky iron chariots. That is a good reference, yeah. I do not get it. Iron chariots. Is there uh, another? Let me, let me get it for you, yeah. Uh... Okay. Uh, the Lord was with the men of Judah. They took possession of the hill country, but they were unable to drive the people from the plains because they had chariots fitted with iron. Um, I feel like I'm missing details there. Like, what, what, what about oh, the iron? This was back in Judges. This was back when, um, uh, when, when all the Jews were going around slaughtering and massacring and genociding. You know, you know, because God's great. And they were trying to. Um, What's the iron do? What is? Why is it? No, it's just it. This is way, way. This is a long time ago. So iron chariots were a big military thing. Okay. So had, just having them is like whoa. Access to iron, iron chariots. One of the there's a big Apollo or there's a big um uh, like atheist website. I think it's called ironchariots.org, and it's got all the explanations for why the bible doesn't make sense and counter apologetics and stuff like that so they called it iron chariots which is very appropriate someone said rags you were drunk go home no 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 I'm rags, are you, have you been right drinking now. my well, god it's only like 2 30. jesus already 2 30. man how long have we been we've been we, wow we're only nearly up to two hours already jesus wow no, time flies time so flies when you're having the fun didn't need a final line, fool. The hero rode into the sunset, the most iconic tripe ever. Also, Last Crusade, Rip Connery. So I think, didn't was Nostalgia Critics one of his complaints that there wasn't a final line in Van Helsing? They just sort of ride off. Because, holy shit. 
of all the complaints you could have. Um, yeah. And also, yeah, Last Crusade is fucking awesome. That I think Indiana Jones might work for EFAP movies as a trilogy. I think they're, it might. They're probably fun to comment on. That's right, a trilogy, exactly. <laughs> then there's the other three. one. Bring your daughter to work. Because to be honest with you, if we did the trilogy, I would want to do the fourth, and then by the time we do that, I think the fifth one might be out. Oh, I mean, I realize they're children pure fun. Uh, complains about a movie with 160 million budget not showing a scene of grass right. Hey Doug, remember the quiz show you made that cost ninety thousand dollars? Have you have you seen any of that, right? The what now? So Doug made this could be right. I'm saying all of this is speculation because I can't remember the specifics. But I'm pretty sure Doug made a GoFundMe for a quiz show, and it didn't work out like production wise, and he ended up just not doing it. But people weren't refunded, and um. Oh. So, legally, he got what pushed did... into, like, you have to... I think they actually... This website itself told him he has to make it. Like, he has no choice. And, um... So they slapped something together, and it's the most, like... Awful thing ever. The, his quiz show. Doug made an awful thing. <laughs> the quiz show, it comes across as, like, um... Like, really low-quality porn-type recording. Where ever, oh. the set itself looks like but that's wrong. that's just his videos. <laughs> his Anyone videos in... are low quality porn. They are slight. They might actually be a step down from someone just holding up an iPhone in the middle of coitus and recording the good bits. <laughs> they did an episode because Kickstarter, uh, Kickstarter told them to. It's low budget as hell. Yeah, it's it is shocking. We might watch that someday. Uh, that's what EFAP I'm, is I'm at this point, just it, yeah. watching the oddities that were created in the name of media. Rags, do you, do you watch Apex Experience? Yeah, I watch it sometimes. Um, it's getting harder and harder to because Matt Delahunty is pretty... He's really good with the apologetics aspect and the logic stuff, but he kind of has Trump derangement syndrome and that pops up every once in a while and you're just like, oh, it's other than that. But yeah, I've, I've watched uh, quite a bit of it. That helps uh, a whole lot. He's really good with the... The logic stuff and that this follows and this doesn't follow and it's very very helpful for argumentation um, well are you saying the stakes felt like they weren't there kappa face i'll get it stakes that so is it efap the passion of the christ i've never seen that is there any is there i any haven't good? either so I remember I, people I, liking I don't, it. Well, it's a Christian movie, so whenever they say it's good, it's like, is it really, or but, is it just about Jesus? So you said it's good. But it's um, it's Mel Gibson, right? And I've seen Apocalypto, and that was pretty good. Yeah, Apocalypto was great. I wouldn't mind rewatching Apocalypto. So maybe Passion of the Christ is good? I don't know. Um, it was called Pop Quiz Hot Shot. Yeah. Pop That's quiz it. hot shot. If anyone's looked up, it's cringe as hell. I would expect if it wasn't cringe as hell, I would be disappointed. It's the kind though that even nostalgia critic, you're like, man, you made this, even you. So you know, it's special in that way. Um, this one just says hi, hi. Oh, hi. Nostalgia critic. So that's what God does now. Rags. Incredibles meme. God is God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone made that. Yeah, someone made that great Incredibles meme. It's fucking on point as hell. Like, why would God you ever made say the that? Universe. Also, he Roger, turns Roger, Rags. Into salt. Ugh. Roger, Parts, Roger. oceans. Yeah, he's pretty powerful, I would say. Yeah, the guy's. Uh... He knows what's up. Scorpion King is the Batman and Robin of the Mummy slash Scorpion King series. Uh, so Scorpion, I'm gonna be really interested for us to see Scorpion King because I remember it actually having it's like got a decent story, but it's you know not since 2008 or whatever, so that I last saw it. I'll be super interested to see that. Th that's the other one that we got to see. We said we'd do the Resident Evil series and we did. So when I say that we're gonna do Scorpion King Mummy and we're gonna do Fucking Underworld or whatever else. Like, we'll get there. It's gonna happen. Uh, Mola, try watching Kolchak, the Night Stalker. Super fun 70s show with monsters. You ever heard of that? Kolchak? Hmm. No. I do not know that one. 
Uh, the monster's name is Adam Frankenstein. He is wrong. Uh, I had no idea what the name of him was in the movie. Do they yeah, say? I had no clue. I don't think they ever say. Drugs playing cop with Mahler? No, I'm not. Oh, it's definitely going to be something we could do one day, though. Like I said, the problem with one like this is that we're barely going to be able to respond to Super Chats because the yeah, game... Yeah, I need to concentrate because it's a puzzle game. And there's timing and... Yeah. Yeah, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Abraham, Lincoln versus vampires, you silly nerds. Oh, that's that's one that we'll do as well, probably. Um, wait, isn't it... Is it called Vampire Hunter? Like, Lincoln Vampire Hunter or something? Pride and Prejudice versus Zombies. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer? And then yeah, that Pride one. Zombies. I think those two back to back would be pretty good. For Halloween or something, I don't know. You can't expect every adaptation to be 100% accurate. If you want that, just go to the original source. Read a book or watch a doc if you want accuracy. Hi, Rags. Hello. Oh, that must have been when, when the accuracy king came back up. You got in trouble for that again because you were mean. Oh, mean? No, oh, I don't fucking care. <laughs> But that's a weird thing that people, like, went back against. Goodbye. Yeah, they um... The stick out of their ass. It's like, yeah, movies about this stuff, they're not documentaries. Well, people even try to appeal to, like, what if it causes bad things to happen? Like, for example, a bunch of Americans are running around saying, um, according to the Patriot, Britain burned children alive, so British people suck. I'd just be like, are you, like, retarded? So, yeah, if, if, if you're that stupid, then it wouldn't, it ain't the movie's fault. And I think the movie does a really strong job of arguing that it was a man doing something horrible because that's who he is, versus Britain doing it. And yeah, he gets absolutely. in serious trouble for doing war crimes. They were very explicit about that. I hate you so much. And uh, nobody on Britain's team is unhappy that Tavington is fucking killed. And I don't know, man, like, uh, as a British kid watching that film super young, I loved it, and I never thought, wow, they're making me look so bad. <laughs> I guess I just never saw movies that way. And I find it interesting that that would be cited often for why Patriot is bad, but you rarely ever hear it for Braveheart, which, um, and I know this thanks to CJ, that Braveheart is incredibly inaccurate. Oh yeah, I watched his video on that. And, uh, indeed, it does seem to be quite inaccurate, yeah. But it makes for a fun story. I mean, I haven't seen Braveheart in so long now that I wouldn't want to be too confident about it, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. Braveheart? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. There's a few that I'd want us to see. Um, the Kevin Costner Robin Hood movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alan Rickman's in that, right? I'd be keen on seeing that. Prince of Thieves, I think, mm. is what it's called. I'd be keen on seeing that again. That'd be um, fun. Yeah. Uh, bu bu bu. Same crybabies who cry inaccurate probably jerk it to Hamilton. It's pathetic, the lack of consistency within the chat and people in general. Oh my god, chat getting called out. Oh my goodness gracious, we're not the only ones who do it. Well, in fairness. There's others, and they're coming for blued. Chat probably calls out chat a whole bunch, and then chat counters chat with chat, so... Fight, 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 <laughs> and make sure you use super chats to do it. Fight, fight, fight. What's the thing? I've almost, we've almost gotten to the end. I say almost, you know what I mean by that. Oh, uh, with EFAP 109s. We'll probably try and do as many of today's ones as well, because a few have come in. Yeah, do it. Jeez, with EFAP coming out at this rate, I'll never be up to date. Been listening to them all at work for a month and a half, and I'm only at 37. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, makes you, really reminds you of how much stuff there is. But, man, nah, thanks so much for watching. I mean, it is kind of crazy. We've been doing this for a long time now. Yeah, we have. And I'm, it's certainly a good thing. Oh, yeah. Glad it's lasting. Fun to think about. I, um, because I still remember when, you know, the, the nature in which we were doing the first one. I was, I was in this very room. Um, gotta love seeing Brit Bongs in chat seething that based Gibson BTFOing red coats 1776 will commence again. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, like I said, I fucking that movie's awesome. I don't care if he's smashing the Brits to pieces. I really like uh, Jason Isaacs' as Tavington in that film. He's a fucking horrible bastard. Hello, just the 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 this the sheer 
lexicon that came through in that super chat was delightful. <laughs> Based Gibson BTFOE Redcoats. <laughs> Red <laughs> uh, hello all, just finished DS1 for the first time. Favorite boss fight? Mine was Manus. Also, where can I find EFAP 103 catch-up? Oh my god. Dead Space, my favorite boss. Um, hmm. No, no, no. Hard to say. The reason why I was saying oh my god was because... He's asking where, the, where to find EFAP 103 catch-up, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Oh, wow! Yeah, you're right! <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, one, 109. Oh, I'm mixing up my numbers. You know what? Ignore me. Uh, but DS1, he's probably referring to uh, Dark Souls, because he said Manus, which is... But, hey, you can answer as if it was Dead Space anyway. I don't know. I need to replay Dead Space. It's been a long time since I've, uh, I've played that. Uh, I should replay it. But um, out, off of memory, my favorite boss... It's a toy sure. Uh, hmm. I actually don't know what my favorite boss is in that game. My favorite Dark Souls Definitely. boss is uh, uh, fuck, what's his name? Kuzan. It begins with A, and it's of the abyss. My name, my fucking brain's ah, of the abyss. Ah, uh, uh, chat, help me out. What's his name? Um, uh, he's the he's the humanoid dude. Even though lots of them are humanoid. Uh, he's Artorius. That's the one. Artorius of the Abyss. It's fucking awesome. As for Dead Space, yeah, I can't even quite remember. A lot of the Dead Space bosses are uh, um, like uh, environment stuff, right? I remember the one where you're in the Zero-G sort of area and you have to fire canisters at it. Um, it's like a big spooky monster. In, in the... Dead Space 2? In Dead Space 1, I think it's 1, it could be 2. Fuck, I can't zero remember. 0G, so there is one that you do fight in 0G. It's at the end of a long cylindrical tunnel. That's it, yeah, there's like a, it's like a creature that's just on the other end, right? Yeah, Firing uh, that is you. a pretty good one. Um, but you, you, ha you can shoot, but there are also the explosive barrels that are floating around. I think I mentioned... So you can absolutely use those as weapons, yeah. I mentioned to you before that the... Uh... Defending the ship from meteors or whatever uh, on console on the hardest difficulty was fucking hard. On PC, it was piss easy. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that one was. It's my least favorite boss slash event thing to do in that game was using the fucking turret because mm -hmm. just control sticks were ass to aim with. I, I seriously, I remember when I first played Dead Space on PC and that whole section was a breeze and I was like, I'm pretty sure that was hard when I played it last time, but I'm telling you guys, the power of the mouse. Well, I never finished Max Payne 3 on console because aiming is so fucking shitty and that game is all about precision and headshots, mm. but on uh, PC, I adored it. I really, really liked it. Uh, rip Sean Connery, and uh, you should watch Helsing Ultimate. I think that's anime, right? Helsing Ultimate? Helsing what? Ultimate? Um, maybe. I would assume. I've heard that the, the Dracula anime is good. Well, oh, the Castlevania. Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh yeah, I've heard very good things about the Castlevania heard, one. Yeah. I might actually be tempted to Check that out. Uh, Mola, Rags is still making videos. Me, liar. I mean, I've I've seen evidence of such things. I mean, I am I am making it. It is not released. You guys are gonna it love it. It is being made. I have a double dose of EFAP hosts shitting on new loved TV shows. Um, we Thanksgivingites have declared independence from the holiday season and hereby declare war on Chris Massives for playing Tismy music in November. Well, I will say, as much as you may have a righteous cause, there's just not going to be many of you to fight the Chris Massives off. And you know, the Halloweeners, we're, we're strictly in October, so we're going to let you have that fight. And, um, however it goes, you know, good luck. This just says I'll hold it against them. Don't know what it's referencing, but yeah. fair enough.
Uh, there's no game for Christmas because everyone's too busy enjoying the best holiday instead of coping with playing games on the worst holiday, Das. <laughs> I don't know what, what brought that on either. That's something he said. Yeah. Um, Y'all keep forgetting Thanksgiving. It takes November from either Xmas or halloween -y. Stupid Euro dummies. Well, of course we forget Thanksgiving. It's not a thing over here. I'm sorry. Even though I'm totally game with it being a thing, by the way. What what is the the idea for Thanksgiving? It's just we we take thanks for the things we have. Also eat lots of food. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why not? Go for it. Um. Happy Halloween, Count Spookler. Happy Halloween. I just rewatched Batwhammon. The fringy Nor gun during Bruce Wayne reveal made me fall out of my chair laughing. Hell yeah, man. The that whole season is is a ride, and I think um really the combo of Batwoman with EFAP was just perfect. And it was such a, like, a fate thing, too, because th that was never planned. It was just, this. the trailer came out, it was like, CW, none of us fucking cared what CW even was. I think Fringy knew what it was, and then I heard that the trailer argues, like, there's a line, the line was, um, the bat suit will be perfect when it fits a woman, and it's the kind of, it's just like, they said that? Oh. That's a thing they said? That's a thing they said, yeah, boy! And then you watch it, and you realize the trailer was entirely for episode one. And I go, oh, should we watch episode one? It's like, that'd be pretty nuts. Cool. And we did, and it's like, there there's an episode two. There was one line in the trailer that they didn't end up having. Um, I forget what line it was, but if you saw the trailer again, one of those super cringy lines they did not have in the actual episode. I don't know if they just cut it for, I don't know why they cut it, but it, it didn't make it all the way. Hmm. Very interesting, however. Yeah. And we watched two, and they're like, wanna watch the next one? Wanna watch the next one? So it's like, now we actually desperately wanna watch the next ones. We've waited long enough for new episodes, CW. You owe us. Yeah. Uh, Halo 2 is the best Halo game. Changed my mind. I mean, I have no interest in changing your mind. I've got I mean, no all, investment in the Halo. The first three are great. Yeah, I, I... I'd probably say Halo 3 is my favorite, but I can absolutely see why people would say Halo 2 is the best. Three's probably three. my favorite, but it really doesn't mean anything because I haven't, I just don't have investment in Halo. So, if you would ask yeah. me reasoning, I'd be like, I don't know, I had fun on it. <laughs> I'd be like, All right, yeah, we so. could do uh, that. Would, it'd be a good EFAP gaming sort of thing. Mm hmm. Rip Sean Connery, and not a physical thing. No, it's a digital piece of art. But unlike just tilt the ship art, I'd prefer you saw it privately first. Oh, that was from Walt, I believe, and that's the person who made the Just Tilt the Ship art. I mean, sorry, this was from October 31st, and it's being answered now two months later. So, if you're out there, Walt, uh, just DM me, and I will uh, do a search for it. Walt slash Walton made. I don't know if they would have sent it to me by now already or not. I don't know. Sorry, we take some time to get to these sometimes, but that is it for the... Um, the 109 EFAP, we have fully caught up with it. Oh, boy. And the questions I didn't ask, uh, well, the, the were missed from the last EFAP for rags. So now I will jump to today's ones so that we don't end up falling behind even more. As can happen. Just a moment. Oh yeah, the only ones I would even be able to choose from with Halo would be uh, Halo 3, ODST, and Reach. And I don't remember a lot of ODST. And I just preferred 3 to Reach, so. Uh, Alright. There we are. You got Zack needs to stop simping the Snyder Cut. Do you know anybody called Zack who is spelt with a with a Z A C H, so not Zack Snyder? I don't know. I'm afraid I do not know any Zacks. Yeah, I'm not sure. Unless um, unless they're referring to the Zack, I think O D N G might be called. No, that's Chris, right? Yeah. Uh, Zack needs to stop. Unless we're talking about Zack Snyder, in which case, sure. Uh, when is Smiler Al coming back? Uh, who who knows for sure? It's going to be when he's free and there's a topic that he's interested in. 
You know how it be? The EFAP rotation is a is a mythical beast. Though he saw Bly, and he thought Bly was good. So yeah, me so get fucked. Uh hello all my chum words. Wow, I didn't even say shum words. Uh, dear leader Rags, what are your thoughts on the downfall of Rooster Teeth, also Heimola? Oh, I have very little thoughts on it. I was never big into Rooster Teeth, honestly. Um, I just was never a huge fan of the stuff that they did. You were never much of a rooster. That's what they call their yeah. fans, right? <laughs> I was never a rooster, yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about them, um, unfortunately. All I know is that it went to shit. Yep, it went it went corporate and it became shit. Are you the only one in your family with your accent? Uh I guess both of us could answer that. Uh no. <laughs> For me, um <laughs> my my dad was much more Welshy sort of accent. My mum was pretty Welshy, but she was always interested in like speaking clearly, uh, especially with the kids. The interest being too, I like uh, how there's a clear dichotomy that's being set up. Speaking clearly and Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are like, you could totally speak clearly and speak with the Welsh accent. It's like, part of what makes a Welsh accent what it is, is like saying words in a weird way. And it's like, well, what are you saying, though? I think it is very charming, and I, re and I really do enjoy its oddness. As should everyone. That's the thing. I don't hate the Welsh accent. It is amusing yeah, to me. Yeah, it's a fine accent. Nothing wrong with it. Like, this applies to fucking Scottish and shit too, guys. It's just that, uh... Um, I don't know. Because, like, I do wonder, of all the people who listen to Drinker's videos, if ever there's stuff that he says where they're like, what the fuck did that... What did he even say? <laughs> the, the drunken slurs are <laughs> finally catching up to him. <laughs> so, guys, just, 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 that was... I feel like I shouldn't be here right now. Hmm. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, uh, since I was super young, I just wanted to try and impersonate voices. The earliest I can remember was Simpsons, just trying to do the voices in that. So, my voice got all fucked up. Who knows what my voice even is? <gasps> Belch. <laughs> that sounded like a real genuine one. That was a real genuine one. They're all <laughs> real genuine. Just to be, just to be guess... clear, before, before the, the... There are conspiracies that develop. They are all real. Uh, that one, that I guess, one sounded less, me. yeah, less prepared. Like, you were like, oh shit, here oh, it comes. Oh yeah, that one, less prepared is a good way to describe what happened there. Definitely less prepared. That one snuck up on me. CDPR, bury the bugs deep within. No, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, that implies <laughs> that we could That's find them. It's like, yeah, we could. Yeah, they were... Very easy to find. That's so unfortunate as well, because you know a lot of the time it happens that someone says like, oh, this fucking game was amazing, and then someone else is like, man, it's filled with bugs for me. It's like, oh, I didn't see any. And then the next person's like, oh, it's 50-50 for me. So, for example, my DS2 coverage, uh, so many comments being like, oh, my version wasn't as broken as yours. And I'm like, okay. I don't know. Um, I, I feel like some of those, I feel like some of those weren't, like... They don't remember it being broken. But it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the funny thing with, with Cyberpunk is nobody who played that game came away saying, No, oh, there's no bugs. None. Nope. This one just says wet bread, hee hee. What could that possibly be referring to? Wet bread, hee hee hee. What could that possibly be? Rags has never actually belched. You know what's, uh, you know Metal does it too now? Yeah, you infected him. Yeah, he also no, he does it. This is something that he does almost every single time. He'll never stop, is the, um, he treats it as though he was, it was against his will. And so he'll burp and then go, oh god. Like, that's like, and he does it almost as much now that it's just like, that's how you belch. Like, that's how, that's how you're supposed to. It's an attack on his throat stomach and, and, and he's just you know he's trying to deal with it the poor guy metal gets influenced very easily um a, as a joke against germany i would add heimer onto the end of words and now he does it all the time a joke without against meaning. germany yeah <laughs> against the nation and all of its people <laughs> like 
ask him if he's going to do a Streamenheim, and then, like, he, that's how he will refer to it all the time now. Streamenheim? It's not helping his German people, you know? He says that with, like, uh, Drinkenheim, too. Mm-hmm. Drinkenheimers. Drinkenheimers. <laughs> I like our little selection of regulars, because it's just funny that we have the German one. <laughs> the German one. Because <laughs> he... I, I think it was in, like... Uh, it could have been the last EFAP or whatever last thing he appeared on, but uh, there was something... Something to do with mass murder, and it was just like, whenever it comes yeah, you know, out of... These are the German ones. So. Yeah. <laughs> whenever he says it, it's just like, oh my god. That means it's okay, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the wet bread thing was fucking great. And I, I love it when Metal mutes to go back in the stream to find out if Chase said it, and then comes back, says, it's true, you did say it, and Chase is like, no, fuck you! <laughs> Wet bread is everywhere. Um, I just watched Doctor Sleep, the sequel to The Shining. It's objectively good. Rag should watch both. Uh, I heard from a couple of sources that Doctor Sleep is bad. And that's sad because it comes from Mike Flanagan. And I'm a big fan of his stuff. But... Who knows? All I do know is that it, it, it presents an issue that I find fascinating, right? So... Uh, sure. Rags, you have Book. Book is really good, okay? Everyone loves Book. Book is awesome. Good Book. All right. Thumbs up to Book. I did... Did I write the book? No. It's just Book you think you, you, you're aware of, right? Okay. It's like, okay, Sorry, now sequel to Book comes out. Also good. Yay. Sequel to Book was cool. Love Sweet. Book. Book... Both Book good. But then... Adaptation of book one comes out, and it's fucking amazing as long as you haven't read the book. Because it ain't as good as the book. Or at least it's very, very different from the book. And then, years later, they're going to make book two, but movie. But the problem is, it's a, it, so it's a sequel to that mu movie that got made, but it's adapting the book sequel. What the hell are you supposed to do now? Because if the movie had nothing to do with book one, this is this is similar to a real life scenario. It's not the same though for anybody who's like, hey, you're not describing it accurately. It's like this is just a, a hypothetical oh, I, situation. I'm still I'm I'm actually kind of a little lost, but so, maybe part of the confusion is the point. Kind of. Um, when you are, well, trying... I've got a book. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, we could just invent an author, I guess. You know, John makes two books. They're both incredibly successful and beloved, and one is a sequel to the next one. Uh, the mov the book was adapted. Book one was adapted into a movie, and it had nothing to do with the book. It's like a, you know, Hill House sort of situation. It's like, man, that was a really good thing, but it, it's kind of... It, the book was irrelevant. Like, why did you even... Huh. But the... The adaptation was so enjoyed that people wanted a sequel years down the line. And so you have to make a sequel to that movie, but you also have to adapt the second book, which are two disparate things. Completely different things. Yeah, like, it's what, like what the... And, and, and apparently that is why Doctor Sleep, or at least partially why Doctor Sleep is a fucking mess, is because it tries to be a sequel to The Shining, while also being an adaptation of Doctor Sleep. And I just find that fascinating, that scenario. Like, you're trapped. You have to fail at one or the other. That is very strange. Of course, in our metric, um, you would, you would, you, if you're making a sequel to a book, uh, sorry, a sequel to a film, that should be your focus, not you're the adaptation of book two, but, uh, I can understand why a creator would want to try and do both or whatever, I just, I don't even know if it's possible at that point. I guess it depends on how contradictive they are to each other. But what a scenario! What craziness. That's, it's, it's the kind of thing you don't expect to exist, uh, theoretically, rather than actually happening. Very odd. There it is. Oh, it's a button, okay. Been taking your advice on script writing, and I don't think I've ever had a more thorough script. It even has video editing notes in it. Also high rags. Oh, hello. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, hopefully that's leading to good things rather than negatives. Like, I don't know. The, the worst thing that usually happens with this sort of stuff is just, oh, it took ages. It's like, yeah, well, you know. Maybe that's a sign 
of what it takes to make some of the best stuff. It takes ages. Oh, shit. You know, Lord of the Rings wasn't made overnight. Just saying. True. It was made over many nights. Mm hmm. Uh, high rags, fitting 32 gigabytes of RAM as we speak. Hey. Ooh. Very good. Yes. This game is good, but liquid parts are infuriating. I disagree. I really enjoy the liquid portion, which we're about to start, actually. Um, a new game called Omori just released on Steam after being in development for six years. Highly recommended if you like RPGs and surreal horror. Fair What's enough. it called? Omori, so O-M-O-R-I, one weird. Omori. Hmm. Omori. Do, do, do. I need access, there we go. Morning, gents. Sorry if the Roman numerals confused you more. I prefer to use them when writing to be more unique. Just presume when reading my super chats, all the singular all cap is and X's as the numbers 1 and 10. I mean, I'm okay with Roman numerals. I just get lost sometimes when they're um, mixed and matched as you do. So, yeah, no problem. Uh, what projects are you guys currently working on slash editing? So, uh, Mando season one review. Yeah, which is uh, quite the adventure from the different things I've heard of you going through it. Yeah, so many different things to talk great. about. Uh, for myself, I obviously in the last month and a bit was just doing exclusively Mando mini editing. Uh, as much as I could have gotten an editor to do those, I really wanted to do it myself because of the um, the references angle. This is the one thing I worry about if ever I get an editor. I need someone who essentially consumes all the same content we do, so that they know what we're talking about with, um... If, if, if I'm mentioning, for example, Boba Fett noticing Luke having unholstered his weapon, I would need an editor to not only think to want to put that visual there, but to know even what I'm talking about. And of course you could just PM for stuff like that, but I just like, uh... I wanted to handle the, the Mando ones myself, especially with fucking how controversial it was, you know? Like, you think Mando's Hard bad? Hard to believe that it's controversial to say that that show is terrible. Which is why like we had to make sure, like, none of the arguments fucking were, like, incredibly inaccurate and they were supported with visuals. And even then, you saw the comment section response sections. Some people were fucking nuts trying to contextualize the shit we said as insane. <sighs> oh, man, you said... The, they both shoot at his helmet and choose to punch him. So which is it, guys? Which one do you want them to do? <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? It's quite the ride. So, uh, yeah, I, and I'm really happy with how they turned out, but fuck me, it took ages editing the two two-hour episode ones. You have to chop out... That's like the format for them, is you chop out all of the uh, useless context slash sort of just dead air. Um, then you shove it all together, then you get the animations in for like the particularly funny moments and to also help with copyright, then you have to actually protect for copyright, and then you have to inject sort of scenes where context is missing, so say, this is kind of a benefit of the format that I didn't even necessarily realize was gonna be, so say two people are trying to make a joke about something that just happened and a third person is actually listening to the scene, they miss the joke, but they then can respond to something that happened in the scene that the other two missed. And so, in editing, all I have to do is play the joke, then play the scene again without any commentary, and then the third person making the commentary works as well. And it's, um... You know, you wouldn't have thought it, but the reaction-style mini-format is actually pretty good. It worked out pretty well. You think it might just be us laughing at it, but I think we managed to get a lot done. And, yeah, what I'm currently working on now is the Wonder Woman... 2017 coverage. I have done... I, I need like one more day for it to be done, and as soon as uh, Das Bullshit's done with the Woman 80, Wonder Woman 84 one, we're gonna plop them together and uh, release them. By done, I just mean the editing part. I still need to sort out copywriting stuff, protection, and then uh, a few more edits. I need to sort out the what you bring me meme at the end. Someone said, uh, what happens to dog bites? Well, I'm gonna use it. Gonna keep keep on using it. It will be used for you know the smaller things, quickie videos, stuff of that nature. Uh, 
might put up uh, streams and stuff on there, do casual stuff. But yeah, just a secondary channel for non-long-form non stuff. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, and once that's done, I'm back on with the boys. Uh, because all the other sort of EFAP mini-movie stuff should be handled by uh, Das Bullshit slash another editor. I just wanted to do the Mando stuff myself, and I'll probably be doing Mando Season 3 myself as well, just um, depending on how it all goes. A personal touch, as they say. Mm. Also, I'd very much love to see you do Halo MCC for EFAB Gaming. Love you both. Definitely uh, something we will do. Certainly. I am down for it. I think we can play all of them together, and then as soon as we get to Halo... Is Halo 3 the first one that's full player? Yeah, I think so. so. At that point, I imagine it would be Metal and Fringy. Fringy loves his little Halo, that little nerd. <laughs> uh, how do you guys watch movie together? What format do you use? Oh, it's a... Timing. It's this classic format that a lot of people are unaware of, where you both have the thing, and then you both go, hey, three, two, one, go. It's really more bare bones than one would imagine. Um, there's no, like, website or anything. About, and if you're referring to, um, like, in EFAPs and stuff, in streams, we use watch together. W-A-T-C-H-2, T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R, watch together. Yeah, if... YouTube Very videos watched together. There's a couple of sites that do it now, but that's the one we use. Someone said old news move on. Are you are you talking about the boys? Because, um... I gotta tell you, man. The first thing that I ever covered on my channel was, like, two years old. The thing that most people want me to carry on with right now is the TFA series. That was 2015. Oh my god. You know, covering I was actually watching stuff. one of those parts today while I was uh, editing. Lots oh. to talk about. Oh yeah, which, uh, what was, what was the thing? What was, what was I talking Unbridled about? Unbridled Rage, and then the, uh, part one. Man, that's going back. That was before I was disabling resampling, so my videos have the fucking annoying blur in them. You gotta disable that resampling. Yeah, man. It's fucking annoying. Racist is so, what it is. It's not something you think to, you know... Well, you know... Do. You'd think it would be an option you could apply rather than one that is on at default. That seems weird, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds very strange that it's the default. It is the big annoy. That's what I meant because of the guy spamming. Rags being a fairy is old news. Oh, scandalous. Scandalous. Uh, did you guys see Angry Joe's Wonder Woman 84 review? He gave it a 2 out of 10. He absolutely despised that movie. Don't blame him, though. Oh, what, 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 do, what do we give it? I don't think we even talked about it. I think 2 is fair. It's Batwoman level, right? Like, yeah, it's a I'd joke of a movie. That. Then, okay, so the only other thing I have to say about stuff like that is Maxwell Lord. It's like, how many points does the film get for having what looks to be almost an arc and a character that kind of works sometimes? Like, hmm. You, you know that episode of Batwoman that had Luke talking to uh, his, the supposed killer of his dad? It's like, would that episode score more than a two? The episode? Yeah. I mean, just by virtue of having that one scene in it, it might elevate it to a three. That's what I wonder about Wonder Woman. Could we call 84 a three, or is it stuck at two? Because it had the... The, you know, a couple of scenes in there that were like, oh, that's... Yeah, like huh. literally a couple. Um, <laughs> yeah. But they were really kind of good. Um, one was establishing something that they never did anything with, and the other was a payoff that was never earned. Wait, are you talking about Batwoman or 84? Oh, uh, uh, 84. Well, either way, it's 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 between two and three. Uh... uh. Not quite a one, but certainly never going to be a four. Uh, yeah, it's between a two and a three, and that there should be its own. I'd, I'd be fine calling it either, honestly. Mm -hmm. Not too invested in <laughs> taking away its... Which one it should be. Yeah. But uh, Angry Joe giving it a two is sure. I mean, I, 
I wouldn't necessarily be surprised at all about that. He, uh, he likes his DC stuff, and I don't know how much it fucks with Wonder Woman as a whole, you know? Probably a lot. I know a lot of people are upset that, like, Maxwell Lord is apparently a decent character in the comics too, uh, writing-wise. I don't know how much they fucked with him. Plenty of reasons to be annoyed. Uh, how do you guys watch... Oh wait, yeah. Hi, Mauler and Rags. Enjoyed your Batman and Robin EFAP. I was wondering if you could do an EFAP movies on Commando. It has the best 80s one-liners. Uh, I would say that Jingle All The Way is only the beginning of us checking out Arnie films. You know, they're all a roller coaster ride. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Commando could happen at some point, sure. Honestly, EFAP movies, we're at, we're at 16, I think, with the next one. You know, it, it, who knows how many we'll make by the time we're no longer able to make them. Who knows? Uh, beef up movies for Red Letter Media's Space Cop? Oh. No. Uh, I don't wanna. There's no reason to do that. <laughs> it's... No reason. It's just, it's not funny. I'm sorry. Like, and it's so weird, like... Have we ever talked about this? Like, I would really like it if Around Red Letter Media... Skits are never really funny at all, but they're just casual conversations are hilarious. Yeah, it's... I don't understand how that happens, really, but it, it did. And not to mention that I'm kind of tired of, like... I'm more than happy for them to, to make whatever they want to make, of course, but... Why don't they try and make... If they're willing to... Ha they have the materials to, and they're willing to talk about it all the time, it's like, hey, make, like, a, a serious thing. Even if it's a short film, why not? Because they always come across as having uh, some understanding of <clears throat> how how scenes should go, or how characters should behave, how to characterize. And I know that there's, yeah. there's a sneaking sort of like, hey, how doesn't this apply to you guys? It's like, well, we've never made a movie of any kind. Uh, and I'm not even like against the idea of us fucking... If, if we had the capacity to make like a short film, I wouldn't be against the idea. It's just that I don't know why yeah, Red Letter Media never tried... Like just trying to make something kind of serious. Yeah, yeah, give it a shot. Why not? Yeah, why not? And it's not. I'm not the person who's doing it for the goal of like, haha, it'll prove you suck. It's like, no, I believe they could make something pretty good if they really wanted to. And I, Space Cop was more of a meme, and All right, this next test may didn't go well. Unfortunately. Um, but I, I mean, what's cool about the whole Space Cop thing is that they're very, uh, they're very self-aware about it. And, yeah. you know, they, and from the sounds of it, it was just like a nightmare production sort of thing. But, uh, you just wish the script was stronger, that's all. Hey, Long Man and Doggo. Hello. Hello. Also, Mola, have you ever seen Patton? It's one of the best war movies I've ever seen. I'm familiar with the name, but I don't think I ever saw it. I'm familiar with the movie, but I haven't seen it. There you go. Uh, Portal 2 OST, The Future Starts With You, is the best track. Um, yeah, I always like the soundtrack in all of this. And I like the the last song, too. Um, hi, Rags. Hi. No hi for you, Maul, but say hi to your family, please. Very well. That includes me, so hi. <laughs> uh, I know it hasn't come out yet, but what do you guys think is going to be worse? Mando Season 2, The Boys Season 2, or Batwoman Season 2? <laughs> Mando Season 2. Um, well, hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is so, genuinely a tough question, because the metrics yeah, kind of... Is. They all tick all the boxes. Uh, it's just to what degree do they tick these boxes is kind then, of the question. The boys season two then because they outright just kill and assassinate characters whereas mando didn't have them to begin with <laughs> true uh and batwoman's probably not going to assassinate any characters at least maybe in an adaptation sense but certainly not their own they're so fucking wooden like like for example alice could do anything she wants and it wouldn't like be clear if she's out of character or not cause you just you have no idea Jacob has been pretty consistent. They obviously want to make him the antagonist that we all struggle to ever like because he's so against Batwoman, which backfires all the time. Luke has been really consistent. Kate Kane is a dumbass. 
so that's that's all I've really got. So yeah, you know, uh, no characters to really destroy, and they portray them in you know, as best they think that they can do. Um, and then bat. So the last then would just be Mando, and yeah, I, I guess that that answers that really. It's probably the boys is the worst out of the three. I would say the boys, yeah. Especially because the boys is trying to be really serious. Yeah, the boys also in thinks it's way better than it is. I wouldn't even say that Mando is trying to be like serious. It's it's very much a much more whimsical kind of thing. If that makes sense. Yeah, man. Uh, I would say Mando, if you had it as a as a person watching it with you, would be like, "Don't you think these action scenes are kind of cool?" And I'd be like, "Hmm." But uh, the boys is like, "Don't you think what we have to say about the world is kind of interesting?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> no. Not even close. Oh yeah. And uh, Batwoman is, you know, it, I look forward to seeing it. Who knows what we're going to get for sure. Uh, hey, Rags, do you like RTS games? Merry Spooky EFAP. Um, not particularly, but that's mostly just because I don't have too much of an interest in the genre. I have nothing against RTSs, and I've played some and enjoyed them. I used to be, I used to play a lot of StarCraft. Uh, I've played Supreme Commander. Um, Forged Alliance, um, but I, um, yeah, they were never really my thing. I could play them and enjoy them, but they're just not quite my thing. More just a personal preference. Yeah, I can see why people adore them and play nothing but them. Absolutely. The genre I think is neat, and I've played a bunch in it, but never been that passionate about them. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, would you be interested in EFAP movies with Adam West Batman movie? The simple fact that you're standing here Possible. To me means you've made a glorious contribution to uh, don't know where it would be in the sort of priority chain of EFAP movies, though. Perhaps one day. <gasps> and this this is Russian word and then park. Um, let's just assume it says high rags, I guess. Oh, high rags. <laughs> uh... Under the Mayo, God of War, also by Wonderful 101. I've uh, heard Matthew Matosas talk about it, but that's sort of my extent of my knowledge regarding it. Yeah, I don't know much about Wonderful 101, but I've, it's been recommended more than once now on, on EFAM. One of those things, that's how I hear about it all the time. Um, have you guys seen Wonder Woman 84? Other than the unexplained tisms and implied rape, is it an objectively the best DCU movie? God, no. No, 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 no. I'm relatively sure that Man of Steel is now the best um, DC movie, and that is a controversial thing to say because everyone says it's Wonder Woman, but... Perhaps when we watch Man of Steel, Rags, in your timeline of the DCU, perhaps we will come away saying, holy shit, that was really bad. I don't know. Because uh, you've only heard about it, right? You've never seen it? I've only heard about it, yeah. It's the movie that started the DCEU. <laughs> and what a... What a tumultuous fucking entity the DCEU is, especially with 84 just having come out. That's so funny. That's the newest entry. If the Snyder Cut is garbage, guys, is gonna be one of the funniest hey, video film series I'm ever. Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968... That's going to be another Civil War type thing, probably. The, the Snyder fans versus the not Snyder fans. It's one of those fights that should just never happen. It's so terrible. <laughs> be over before like, guys, if, if, if people, co people consider Wonder Woman the good one, and that movie was horrible. Like, we're in trouble. I actually mentioned this on, I think it was Metal Stream, I was like, is, is, is EFAP aware, like, fully that we think Wonder Woman 2017 is garbage bad? Like, I don't know if they are. Chat, what is your reaction to this knowledge? Show me. Yeah, just, just to be clear, just to be perfectly frank and transparent, Wonder Woman 2017 is shit. Some, um, to, to do, like, a mini review right now, it's like... The character of Wonder Woman is absurdly naive and contradictive in terms of what information she had about the world versus what she seems to actually know. Um, her whole assumption that Ares is behind war extends to her thinking that Ares is behind, like, people doing evil things in any Just way. Just bad. Just all- basically all bad. It doesn't make any sense that, um, she has an issue with World War One, but she had no issue with all of the wars that came before, and Steve doesn't tell her anything about them for some reason. And she, like... 
This isn't even a long war compared to the wars that have been happening before. And then she takes the knowledge that Ares is, like, this poison that's happening as clear evidence that Ludendorff is Ares. And it's like, wait, so how does that even make any sense? Was the person who made any innovation ever always Ares? And, um, well, well, the funny part is, I guess, that you find out that is actually true. That all the innovations come from Ares. <laughs> <laughs> Which still doesn't make sense, by the way. Or is if it the... all, like, war innovation? Or is it all... I don't know. Because if his goal was, like, I need to get humans to nuclear weapons as soon as possible, then... Because if so you Ares remember, he says... to destroy themselves. Yeah. And I but guess then that's... there can't be any more war and stuff. Well, he doesn't want there to be war. He just wants everyone. His ultimate goal is peace on earth with no humans in it. He he, he remember he shows that like nature oh, yeah, is healing. Oh yeah, that's right. But he's the god of war, doesn't he? I don't know about how they make that and make any sense. He just hates humans. He wants humans gone. He's gonna do it by making humans kill each other via war. Um, Even though he could probably just kill humans himself. That's another issue. And so yeah, the reason I'm saying all of this is to establish Ares doesn't make any sense, Wonder Woman's character doesn't make any sense, the movie goes back on its own fucking message, all of the plot is is dumb garbage people. She's not immune to bullets, she gets uh, hurt by bullets in the first movie before she's even lost her powers, and uh, it, she blocks, there's like a hail, like, the, what is it, like 200 bullets being fired at her and she dodges all of them because of her puny little shield? Yeah, Any one of them none of her non shield part. Yeah, that the whole crossing the trench thing was so stupid. And then you have her willingness to beat the shit out of German conscripts near the end of World War One. So we're dealing with like just civilians trying to maintain this this war, and she's so certain they're bad because she bumped into an American saying that they are. And, and, and some random saying that Germans are taking slaves. She's like, this is it. Germany's the bad one. It's like, it is. In she's incredibly naive throughout the whole film. She doesn't learn shit. Except that she believes in love. And then she, when she says that, the villain says, I will destroy you. It's The movie is awful, guys. Like, it's so fucking bad. And, and those are just like a bunch of plot and character issues. <laughs> one of the things that you can't get over with this is that the movie is insanely boring. Oh, yeah. It One is, of the most poorly paced movies I've ever seen. Of nothing happening. Oh, it's just it's just attempts at oh look, fish out of water, Wonder Woman, ha ha ha, where she makes stupid bullshit decisions and um observations. It's just oh so unfun to watch. But you know. Jeez. None of it's functional, and it's incredibly boring. So it's a, it's a double whammy. So yeah, we weren't a fan of uh, Wonder Woman 2017, but Wonder Woman 1984 was indeed worse. Uh, but I found it more entertaining, so there's that. Oh yeah, definitely more entertaining than 2017. And the character I like the most out of both films is Maxwell Lord, so... I don't know. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward, you know, just, uh, we'll talk about it on the New Year's Eve stream, I guess, but the potential of his character and his story. And how, uh, if we could just get rid of Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 1984 might be pretty good. That will be at least a first step. Yeah, every time it cut away from Maxwell doing his stuff, we were just like, ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Which is a really good sign. Go away, Wonder Woman. Get the fuck out of your own movie. And then I'm not even, we're not even mentioning Cheetah, so I don't think there's any point. He was in the movie, maybe. I'll be sure. Uh... Watch Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, I'm sure it's very good. Uh, also, it's also... Very Rags, forgot to thank you for headphone recommendation. They work pretty well, besides from fucking with my phone a little bit. They, uh, though they cost a lot more than you said. CCC Austrian dollar, in fact. Uh, then again, everything in America is cheaper. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know yeah. about uh, Austral Austrian stuff. They use fake money, so of course it's not going to be worth as much. Yeah. Just how it goes, you know. 
Uh, sorry, couldn't really super chat lately. Ran out of cash. That's absolutely oh. cool. No worries. Don't worry, man. It's Thank all good. Or uh, donating regardless. This is, uh, so basically, don't be Joseph Anderson. And I think it relates to the, um, the dating advice portion of what we were talking about. So, because uh, that was from today's one. That's the best thing I can do to assu assume context, right? That is not me taking a shot at Joseph Anderson. Why would you assume that? Nope. Nope. Not us. Um, oh yeah, so because the person saying, is it objectively the best DCEU movie for Wonder Woman 88? Um, <laughs> if, like, we've, since we're going through it with, like, arguably fresh eyes now, it, we've seen Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 84, so currently Wonder Woman is the best. Uh, that doesn't mean a lot, though. Yeah, I don't know if that'll actually hold up. Maybe some of the other ones are better, God forbid. You never know. It could be. I mean, you never know. It could be. Yeah, neither do I. I guess I've got to jump. Oh. I was a stupido. Mm. I'd love to see you play Space Marine during an EFAP Super Chat catch-up. Random info. The Imperial Guard Laz Gun is powerful enough to vaporize a human torso, yet they are referred to as flashlights by fans. Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah, that doesn't seem quite right to me, but, you know. It's wrong. It's wrong. Free melee. Um, perhaps one day. Bill Nye chose the accent for Davy Jones. Did he know? I mean, that's what I've always... I remember watching the interview for it, but uh, could be that that's a bullshit and there's just a, you know, some producer said you had to do it this way. But, uh, yeah, I remember watching that interview on TV, so it was a long time ago that I saw him say that. Well, I don't watch no gay TV no more. Me neither. Nope. Uh, just saw the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special. Ray goes back in time and helps Luke destroy the first Death Star. You can't make this up. Jeez, yeah, that, that's uh, what I've heard. Is that surprising? We haven't I don't watched know. that yet, Mahler. We still have to watch that. Yeah, I'm trying to think of when we could fit that in. Like, it, thing is, I could expect it, like the tone to just be not vindictive at all. Like you know, the Lego games, just super chill. Yeah. It's just, yeah, like, they had no idea what they were doing. <laughs> um, I recently watched all the Dirty Harry movies. My personal favorite are The First and Sudden Impact. What are yours? I haven't seen them. I haven't seen Dirty Harry in so things. long that uh, I got no input on that one. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. Um, I see some crossover with EFAP and Only Plays audience from time to time, and the Nostalgia Critic episode really brought some of that out. If Nostalgia Critic is ever brought back on for review, it'd be great to have ONENG there for it. A pipe dream, for sure. Hell yeah, man. I'd have ONENG on if you wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have no idea if he knows we exist, or if he's aware that we'd have him on, or if he would, but all of those things are uh, A-OK -okay with me. And I'm sure there's plenty more Nostalgia Critic for us to be able to cover, you know? Thank goodness that that's the case. Uh, this is probably what I've got to do. By the way, Mola, when you say Linkara's fetishes are the green M&M and dead puppets, you're referring to the YouTuber Linkara, yes? If so, Jesus Christ, can't believe I used to be a fan of him. Hey, you know... You guys are acting like this makes him a bad person. You're allowed to have... You can have <laughs> weird fetishes, it's fine. Yeah, like, I think it's funny. Like, I, like the dead Muppet one is a little bit concerning, but uh, the, the the green Abba Dab one, you know, whatever does it for you, I guess. Um, I don't understand, like, the dead Muppet one, I just, it's so many questions, uh, but, you know, Linkara, his content and his fetishes, they're a... <laughs> Completely separated thing. Also, you don't choose what your fetish is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I went that one. Like you think people are out there going, you know what? I went shit and um, dead people and feet. Camels. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, dead people and feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nobody. What a combo. <laughs> yeah, all are fucking weird. Uh. 
yeah, you know, if you enjoy Linkara's comic book reviews, you keep keep on enjoying it, I guess, you know. Whether or yeah. not he likes the green M&M, just doesn't really matter. Uh, you should get th the almighty lolly on the show. Bet that'd be great. Do you guys... Oh, wait, so that's the first thing. I have no idea who that is. I don't know who the almighty lolly is. Rax is only saying that because of his weird fetishes. No! Those two are independent of one another. Yeah, I have weird fetishes, but the statement also holds true. I don't hold people, I, I do not judge people morally for their weird fetishes because that would be a dumb thing to do. Um, do you guys work out? If so, what's your training schedule? Good Yule, y'all massives. I don't really work out. I just do exercises and uh, hiking. Just... Yeah sit-ups, push-ups, that sort of thing around the house, and then I do occasional hiking. Uh, when I go to the gym, usually running machine, because I don't know if it has a better name than that, and uh, I try to do weights every once in a while. You got no, cardio and strength. No, no I, I do, I, I literally said I do have weird fetishes. I think we all do. I think that sexuality, especially because it changes over time for people, and people tend to get, I don't know if they tend to get more extreme, but people open up to weirder things as time goes on, that um, I just don't think it's that weird for people to have weird fetishes. It's not weird that people have weird fetishes, what's weird is the individual fetish itself. Yeah, I mean, there's still a difference between, like, I like feet versus I like um, <laughs> the dead people what is like, oh man. Okay. It's, really, it's like that's just more weird. Yeah, I suppose the 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 concerns come in through um, if they were like actually digging up corpses or some shit. Yeah, it taken to its extremely you know it, its ludicrous degree, which is still possible, but that's far on that sky far on that scale. Rank is a doggo fetish. I don't actually. Okay, as strange as that might sound, I don't actually want to fuck animals. But my dog character does, so there. Perhaps that would be the confusion. Um, he wants to fuck everything, though. So I've come from the future to tell you to not play Doki Doki Literature Club. It goes horrible. It's the EFAP gaming equivalent of the prequel debate stream. How's Rags? Oh, hi. I'm well. Um, I I don't know why it would be the equivalent of that. I don't I don't understand how that would happen. Maybe us playing the game. It's just so because we played through Little Hope, you know. So. Oh, we well played through. <laughs> we experienced little hope. Yeah, we experienced it. Whatever that means. Bombers in TLJ just rotate 90 degrees and release bombs. Down is relative in space. Rotate 90 degrees and release bombs. Do they rotate at all? Do they that? turn on their side? I don't remember them rotating, do you? No, they didn't rotate. Um. And also, ro so rotating 90 degrees means they turn to the side. Also, there is no down in space is relative, because if you're going to say there's a down on Earth because of the gravity, then the down in space is going to be dependent on, well, where the gravity is, I guess. Yeah, yeah, because down's relative, but there's a focal point that you could focus on. Hmm. Fun fact, uh, level and flat are not the same thing. Bum, so, bum, bum. Learn that from, because I'd never really thought about it, but it was a Flat Earth debate. I watch MC Toon. He does uh, really, really excellent Flat Earth debates and stuff, and um, flat and level are two different things, often to the confusion of Flat Earth. Hold the phone, Mooples. The Underworld films are definitely not RE level. If you want my review of them, to be continued in the next Super Chat. Uh, I, I think I did say they're not like the RE films. They're not quite as tizzamy. In fact, I think the first one, there's some merit to uh, what it's trying to do. The Underworld world is kind of cool, but I'm almost certain they're not going to age well when I rewatch them eventually. And uh, I do remember liking Bill Nye's Victor, so... Be curious to see if that's still awesome, and we're dealing with like a Pirates of the Caribbean type thing where the character is cool, but the third movie, oh, oh. Bill Nye the Vampire Guy. Bell, 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 Bell. 
Next time I tell you Dumbo's to play Do Doki Doki Delicious the Club and Chase is present, tell him to shut up. I thought he got the message last time I asked him for no spoilers. Oh my god. Well, don't worry. I think yeah. most of the stuff... He just started talking about tone and stuff that will happen in it, like, thematically or genre-like, genre -like, which is really, really fucking dumb of him to do. But, oh well. I mean... I don't remember what he said, yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, well, I... I, honestly, I think a lot of people have, even Moriarty has told us stuff about that game and I, I can't remember it. I think it was, like, my general impression is that like, it does stuff in a meta way. I yeah, think. I've heard it's a, one of those meta-ish games, yeah. Um, but I mean, I still want to stress, there's no guarantee we're ever going to play that, you know. If Rags yeah, and I have a chance fact, to play a game together, not, not going to be that. It'll be Halo at this point, certainly. But, uh... I suppose we did play Little Hope, so... You know, garbage can find its way. Uh, it's a lot less entertaining when someone isn't going in blind. I want to hear your thoughts about the game, too, just like Hardcore Henry before it. Right. But, I mean, we're still... It would still, you know, mostly be blind. Like, 99%. Yeah, Also, you're probably. not allowed to say that anymore. It's offensive. There's blind people out there who are getting discriminated by you saying that, so... What are you gonna- you gonna get us banned on Twitch if you carry on. Uh, I started watching the EFAP playlist about a month and a half ago during work. I'm currently on episode 35. Much love for you and Rags from little old me all the way in Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you're having fun with it. I like that EFAP is this thing that it's worthwhile going back rather than just keeping up with it. You know, it's like there's some there's some events that have happened. There's some some good shit back there. You may have heard we're gonna phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford I love Chase, but JFC. What's JFC? Just for consideration. Ground them up. Mix them into a gel. And guess what? Let me Ground check. JFC. I am deathly ill. Still, mm. it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So Jesus now, fucking Christ. Oh, okay. But Jesus fucking Christ. I don't want you to play Doki Doki Literature Club because I think it's a masterpiece. I just want to see you guys play it for my entertainment. Ah. <laughs> it all makes sense. It's all coming together. Uh, Prince of Thieves is good, if I remember correctly. Also, here is money to not weeb. Also, hi Raggleton hmm. and Moobshly. Money to not weeb? Money to not weeb. Money well spent, because weebing is not allowed here. See, for those saying, oh, you know, the liquid portion of this game isn't, isn't any good, this part's fucking awesome. You paint the whole room. Oh no, wait, they're getting me to do chores. <laughs> no! Uh, you guys should definitely do Robin Hood Men in Tights for EFAP movies. It could happen. Yeah, maybe. Who knew that it, Ro Batman and Robin was going to happen? Nobody knew. But then it did. Uh, you guys seen Cinematic Venom's documentary? He mentions EFAP. I actually have. I put it on oh. in the background while I was doing... Uh, house stuff, and I managed to essentially go through the whole thing. It's a, it's a crazy adventure, that video. He... First, he talks about, like, when he grew up, his parents didn't give him the love he needed. Like, that's like the opening section. <laughs> All um, right. and he goes into how he was bullied, and how his interactions with women were always, like, troubled. Um, and then there's, like, this... So, like, this story, I, I just wonder if because it's it's so nuts. He like the first girlfriend he has, and it's something that's like, I think he's like sixteen or something. The first proper main girlfriend. She's American, and like he just goes out to America to try and live there with her. Really. And then um, they get married really quickly, and then she's pregnant. Really. And then he has her come wait, back. Wait, 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 wait. She's she she was pregnant from someone else or him? Oh, him. Um. Okay. And then there's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like they go back to Britain, but she gets deported, and so he has to keep the kid, or, you know, she does. She gets deported? Yeah. From Britain. 
Yeah, because she went... I don't know how they managed to fuck that up. Like, I don't know why... Yeah, that you, seems to be something that you'd want to be really sure that's about. That's the main thing you want to nail, is, is whether or not you guys can stay in the country. Um, so then from there, um, he, like, would be complimentary to, to women in a close way, and she took it as him messing around or something, and then she actually cheated on him. And then they got a divorce. Um, and like he would make diss tracks on anybody that he fell out with on his channel, and he would he was showing them in the video. It's so tonally strange. It would be like him doing this heartfelt sort of like vlog about the mistakes he's made, and he'd be like, "Oh yeah, and I made a I made a track on them." And then for like fucking five minutes, he'll just play this crazy set of you know like really uh, just filled with swear words and just just ripping this person to shreds and and even he was like yeah it, they were really personal even sharing people's like names and locations and stuff and she's like what the fuck yeah that's weird um the efap portion is tiny and it was quite funny he was like uh you know i got a few things wrong in the lord of the rings review but there was a lot of my subscribers who would say oh the video was good and then they watched the efap stream and they're like oh the video's bad I was like, yeah, that happens. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, your video was legitimately bafflingly bad. Um, and, but the crazy part was that he says, like, the EFA video kind of changed a lot in terms of how he's going to operate. And for a second there, I was listening to it like, is this going to be like a, a plus? Oh, really? But, um, no, the context is, because he has like a friend having an interview too. And the friend is like, you know, that EFAB stream, it was, uh... When you have a tiny channel being um, addressed by someone as huge and vicious as Mauler, it'll change you. I was <laughs> as like, what the fuck? As <laughs> Mauler. Um, and yeah, he goes on to say that, like, uh, Cinematic Venom did horrible things to so many people in his life. It was only once it was done to him by Mauler that he realized how bad it was. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have expected that. Like, first of all, it wasn't just me. And second of all, we were pretty friendly to his video considering how fucking terrible it was. Yeah, we, and, and honestly, I don't, like, think he's a bad person or anything. I just think he's really bad at reviewing The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it was just a really poor quality video. And, um, it was funny, because, like, that's about it for the EFAP section. But then there's one other bit where he's, like, fucking, th this is his argument in full. And now tell me if you think this is an honest framing in response to what you saw in his video. He was, like... So, everyone makes jokes about Frodo and Sam being gay. I make one joke and it's unacceptable, according to them. Does that sound fair to you? <laughs> That's it. That's I was like, excuse you. The whole point was that he made like 17 jokes about it. Jokes, quote unquote. Oh shit, that's $500. Wow. Yeah, that's... So this guy, Drew to the Wolf? I know that guy. I know him. He's been an extremely generous donor. To me in the past on my streams like super fucking generous so dude he's 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 crazy man he is insane with his generosity yeah i mean you know that's, th not, that's not one of those things you have any uh canned response to you know you're like uh okay that just happened it's, yeah it's one of those how can i possibly say something that can like hold up to that you're just kind of at a loss because of how insane it is and plus the fact he's done this before, for me, multiple times, is... This dude is in, this dude's insane. He's crazy. It's amazing that we can have someone like that, you know, who wants, who wants to support us in that way. Like, I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear from him again, because he had gone away for a while. Does he talk? Um, no, not really. Because <laughs> um, this was years ago, he took a job in... Let me try to Let's see. He's he took a job because he's from the States. He took a job that was a um like uh it's just out of country. He wasn't specific about what, so that's why I hadn't seen him in a long time. And then he came back. And I guess he makes a whole lot of money. Um He must. And it's kind of incredible that we get some of it. Yeah, I mean, but incredibly what a, generous. What a chad. Thank you so much. So the only thing I was, I was, I was trying to get out there was, uh... 
he made a whole bunch of... The, the, the coverage he gave of Lord of the Rings was play scene with Sam and Frodo, and then the implied gayness, quote-unquote, from him, he would then respond with, ugh. Now, if you want to make a joke that you can interpret the Sam and Frodo scenes as totally gay, that's one thing, but to then be like, that's gross? Like, um, so that would be where we were getting the, the homophobic sort of, uh, vibe from. And he countered with, it's pretty funny to, like, uh, criticize him for being anti- uh, homosexual when we're, like, anti-mental issues by using the word retarded and other, other stuff like that. Interesting. Was, yeah, the, the whole bit, I was just like, that's just fucking fascinating to me, because he, he, throws, he throws a comment where someone, I guess, makes fun of him for possibly having mental issues or whatever, and I was just like, oh, okay. Um, I don't mind someone interpreting Frodo and Sam as gay if they want to, that's totally whatever, but, uh, calling the- because Nostalgia Critic tried to turn it into a criticism, bleh, criticism, if you remember, he was like, they're supposed to be portraying friendship and they're not, and that's bad. Do you remember how weird that was? Yeah, that one was a weird one. But, um, of course, the- the Cinematic Venom one was, he was, like, reacting in disgust whenever there was potential gay. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you, it's just, like, really fucking strange. Um, and yeah, and he, he closes out with saying Cinematic Venom is over. And he's gonna... gonna go on to some other channels or, or whatever, I guess. I, I don't know if he's deleting Cinematic yeah, I mean, Venom or... Go on to other channels, yeah, don't, like, quit. I, yeah, that's I would, certainly I not what not we want would want. To, yeah, we don't want people to quit doing YouTube, especially if they care about it. Definitely isn't our goal. Our goal would be ideal... Uh, uh, ideally, in a best-case scenario, that you continue to make YouTube videos and improve uh, them, make better videos that are that are like correct. Give it time, Cinematic Venom. Maybe you'll nail it. Who knows? Um. So yeah, uh, I've seen it and I wouldn't recommend it. It's a bit of a crazy adventure and it's very personal. Um. Like I said, I, I, I was doing stuff while it was going, so I didn't catch all of it, but uh, it was it was a ride. Uh, J.K. Simmons is the best in Portal 2. Yes, he is. He's fucking fantastic. Plays. Um, wait, let me... There we are. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's Cave Johnson. He's like the previous owner of Aperture Science. Really into his work. Uh, the first is not great, but pretty good. The second is about the same in quality. The third is okay, considering it's a prequel. The fourth is kind of bad, though its plot points had potential. And the fifth is the TLJ of the series. This is in reference to uh, Underworld. There were five Underworlds? Yeah, from what I know, and Charles Dance is in four and five, so that's enough reason to see them, right? Oh, wow. He's a vampire in them. <gasps> He's just not in them for very long, and that's, a, again, crime. Crime, crime, crime. Shouldn't be doing that. Why do they do this? Ugh. Hire the one of the best living actors that exist and barely give them any material or stuff. They're like, ugh. It's the thing, man. Like, I want to, I think we talked about this before, but I want to see more older actors being given really powerfully emotional content to deal with. Why not? They've been doing it their whole lives, assumedly. Wasting them. Instead of having him turn up and go, I am General Generalman, and I command you to do this. It's like, thank you, Charles Dance, you nailed it. I remember what movie... Oh yeah, did you know Kingsman is getting a prequel film? Yeah, I heard about the it. The King's Man. Like, were you in the call with me when I, like, fucking checked, because he was in it, and he literally plays a general? He's probably going to be in oh, it for five yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. General Charles Dance. Like, oh, fucking course. Why did they hire him? What's the point? Um, anime sucks. EFAP's great. Oh, man. Definitely this guy returning him. Chad viewer. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the Fallout games, old and new? Um, I've only played three New Vegas. Four and seventy-six. 
they have been it has been a roller coaster of quality mm. i will say that uh three is good four is or sorry three is good new vegas is really good four is all right great with mods um and fallout new vegas was one of the worst games i've ever played in my life though i have heard it's gotten much better however i have not played it since the review came out so you mean 76 yeah that's what i said right to new vegas and i was like jesus oh did i no 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 um someone yeah just in case i misspoke uh i've fallout new vegas is excellent fallout 76 is one of the worst games i've mm -hmm. ever played though i've heard it's gotten much much better since uh, since i played it which is something i wish we would stop having to say oh don't worry it's good now it's like why wasn't it good when it came out people I, on my server have been playing it and enjoying it so i mean if it's good it's good I yeah, mean, yeah, more yeah power to it being good yeah it's a good thing if it's good now because originally i i was on board with the concept uh originally i hoped it was an mmo because an mmo that had like factions and stuff would fit super well for an MMO setting. But uh, it turned out it was just like this weird light garbage. And yeah, as for me with Fallout, um, I've only ever appreciated the design in Fallout 1 and 2. I've never like, played them. I played Fallout 1 like, for a couple of hours, but... Uh... It, it didn't quite catch me. It's one of those things I I think Pathologic is another game which, I know, funnily enough, have been covered briefly by, well, briefly and thoroughly by H. Bomakai, but games that are so old that to appreciate them better is better to have someone who's obsessed with them and break them down for you and just go through what they did, because uh, just not as user-friendly without donating a decent portion of time to understanding them at this point. At least there's a, some games that have that sort of element to them. So, first two, pretty neat. Third one, I remember enjoying thoroughly when I played it. I can't speak to its quality at this point. I wouldn't want to rush to its defense or attack, really. I, I, I don't know about that one. Um, I've only ever heard good things about New Vegas. Never played it, though. And then Fallout 4 was like a mixed bag from whatever coverage I ever saw of it. Yeah, it was uh, It was kind of meh. So it, was, it was really disappointing, I will say that. And then, yeah, obviously, 76 is, uh, you guys know how that went. I have not played it myself. Do Davy Jones's lines in a Welsh accent. Hi, Rags. Hi. Um, what's, like, the most memorable line from Davy Jones? You have a debt to pay, maybe? Um, do you fear death? So, talking in a Welsh accent, but then, like, taking it to a bit of a really weird sort of person who's gonna fucking kill you it's like you have a debt to pay you've been captain of the black pearl for 13 years uh that was your agreement and and then obviously uh i don't even know how he would do it that that, that would be close to it i guess this you kind of want to make it like he said the whole scottish just it hits a little harder, and I can see why he did it, because uh, I'm not sure how you make Welsh hit harder than that. The, you get... It's more common to see Welsh accents be used softer. Like all of, um... All of the... Soft and gentle people. Well, not necessarily... So, like, Anthony Hopkins, whenever his Welsh comes out, and if he's, like, playing a more villainous role, it really can work. It's just not as, um... Uh, what's, what's a bit... What's, like, the good version of obnoxious? Um, endearing? No, I, I don't mean like an opposite. I, I mean powerful um, rather than annoying. Like it, it really gets at you. Uh, intimidating, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, intimidating if it's meant to instill a sort of apprehension or fear. <laughs> like it's two people said I heard Jamaican. It's like, yeah, Rags felt that way uh, at one point. There's, there's going to be similarities in all accents across the board. Uh, Jamaican is like is, it can be there's pieces of, of Welsh that could be connected I suppose yeah I bet a lot of people who heard the shrunken head in Harry Potter it was their first exposure to the Welsh accent and even <laughs> I at the time thought that it was Jamaican when I think now in hindsight I think it was just Welsh that's the, that's, that's the truth right there yeah there you go Uh, 
The cut line was something along the lines of not letting a man take credit for a woman's work, if I remember correctly. I think you're right. I thought that was in the show, is it not? Right. Uh, no. Wow. I don't think it is. I don't think that's in the actual show. Um, I think in the... Um... Because she says it in the Batcave when she's talking to Luke. And I think it was supposed to be in, like, the same scene that they were talking where she I says when it fits the women, it'll be perfect. I um, could have sworn that just... that was episode three. It's when it's why she decides to put on the wig because everyone thinks she's Batman. And she's like, I'm not going to let a man take credit for a woman's work. I forget. Um, I could be wrong I on think, that. But I, it was in the trailer, though. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> Facetious. No, no, no. No, where? I had a friend say there were no. no bugs in Cyberpunk, and when I said, aren't there bugs, though, he followed up, they're bugs, but it's still perfect. Okay. Oh. Not how I would use yeah, the word if perfect. You, it, yeah, if you think Cyberpunk's perfect, you need to fucking get a life. I just recommend maybe play some more games. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'll widen that. that palette of yours, because there's a couple more out there. Uh, Cyberpunk is buggy as hell, but at least you can beat people up with a rubber phallus. Reminds me of the Saints Row games, lol. I remember that. There was a dildo sword in the in the Saints Row games, I think. Indeed there was. Have any of you read the Star Wars Thrawn books? I just started Outbound Flight, and Thrawn is a great character. I hope the Ahsoka show does him justice. <laughs> we shall see. I worry intensely for anybody who is is looking for Disney to adapt anything from the EU with success. I don't know. But then, uh, I don't know anything about Thrawn, so hopefully it works out. Just make him more competent than Stormtroopers in the show, and maybe we'll be getting somewhere. That won't be tough. Hmm. Uh, speaking of Van Helsing, what do you think of the Van Helsing series? The Van Helsing in the show is a girl, don't know if that means it's woke or bad, though it does have good reviews and has four seasons. Wow. Uh, I've never heard of it. At yeah, I, I'm not sure. I if, have no clue. Yeah, if I have been made aware of it before, I don't remember it now. Um, Van Helsing TV show where it's a girl Van Helsing. Hmm. I would hope that it's some level of good. I wonder if it's like CW level, because four seasons, you'd think I would have heard of that. Yeah. Four seasons of a show that we've never heard of. That is interesting. And Van Helsing, so kind of... I wonder how they adapted, like... I wonder what the enemies are, you know? I wonder if they did them any good. I would assume not. You know, that's not me saying it's woke. I'm just saying... That it could be anything. Who knows? Um. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm figuring out this puzzle quick, I hope, ish. Mm. Have you seen Soul? Liked it, but it has issues. No, I haven't. I've only been hearing good things, though. I have not seen though. it either. Lots of people like it. It's Pixar. A lot of people are going to like it. Well, Pixar usually do okay, right? What's the record right now? Yeah, because um, Moana, was that one of the newer ones? Yeah, I heard that was good. Yeah. They also did Toy Story 4. Oh, fuck, yeah, that was them. Good job, guys. And they're doing the Buzz Lightyear movie, aren't they? Yeah, that might be not terrible. Maybe. Instead, hopefully, naively. Uh, so, Wonder Woman 84 is Garbo, as well as Wonder Woman being good except for its third act. Nope. Now I keep hearing that Wonder Woman isn't as good as peeps thought years ago. Hmm, could this be a case of the movie's writing aging horribly? Oh my. It didn't age horribly, no, it, it was always age. bad. I watched it for the first time, and I came to the conclusion very quickly that this movie was shit, based on a wide variety of as uh, aspects and issues. I can't remember if it was Fringy or you that I said this to, but like, I was never that pro Wonder Woman. I was always like, yeah, I guess it's the best in the DCEU, but that's not saying anything. Um, 
and I took more issue than just with the third act, and I remember thinking Wonder Woman as a character sucks. And, uh, oh yeah, and, she's a terrible character. But like, there was so much pushback on that, because like, it was like, no, Wonder Woman's fucking awesome. It's like, why though? And everyone really likes Gal Gadot, like, a lot. She seems like a very nice lady. Mm-hmm. Who cannot act. <laughs> it's, it's true, guys. It's true. She is a gorgeous, very friendly, lovely lady. But... Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I hesitate to say... Well, in the sense that it's gone from considered good to considered bad, aged badly, it's like, sure. Um, but I don't know how many people still consider it great at this point. I think the EFAP movies is going to... Uh, Surprise some people. How sure. not? They should, we shouldn't surprise people anymore. I don't know. But <laughs> we seem know. to every time. We seem to, don't we? Yeah. Which is fine. Uh, but yeah, we we are not kind to Wonder Woman 2017. Um. One of the big downsides of not having YouTube as your job, or at least a job among others, is that it can only take up hobby amounts of time. Um, that's usually how it starts for a lot of YouTubers, is that it is your hobby time. Yeah, that's how it start, uh, started uh, than me. Certainly for me. I was like, I really like talking about media, so I'm gonna also do it online. But, um... I guess the, the point there is just like it sucks that you don't have as much time to do it and it's like yeah I mean that's sort of the way it goes um, before it can become a job for you if that's what your goal is. It was uh, it's hard cramming them different hours and different pieces but you'll find a way uh, hopefully and you know try and find ways to make it easier on yourself I guess if you have a lot less time and you really want to get your voice out. because um, the most important thing is probably going to be the script when you're breaking something down. What are your opinions on Nier Automata? Have you played that? No, I haven't. I heard it's good, though. I have not. Metal played through it all and said it was really good, so... And I hear good things about it, so I, I assume yeah. it's a good man. Uh, correction, Angry Joe gave it a 3 out of 10. Huh. Oh, all right. Well, we said we went from two or three, so it all matches up, I suppose. Um, as someone who's a huge fan of Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, uh, UE, Unreal Engine, what's UE? Universal Entertainment. Ye uh, maybe it's like um. Can't be Aquaman, not Shazam. UE. Universe oh, BVS un Ultimate Edition, that's it, BVS oh. Ultimate And Woman Woman, I despise Wonder Woman 84. It contradicts the films that came before and is a deviation from Snyder's vision. Okay. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, we mentioned some of the stuff it does contradict in the DCEU, like me and Frank, you're aware of that, but I still think the DCEU is fucking garbage fire, so... I will be interested to watch BVS Ultimate Edition, but I am not expecting it to fix what is a busted film to begin with, and I'm super interested to see what Rags thinks of BVS. Can you believe it, Rags? You haven't seen the movie where Batman and Superman fight? Oh my god, I've seen it referenced for being terrible all the time, but I've never actually <laughs> seen it. This globe is so good. Snyder. UE stands for Uber Eats. Uh, Maxwell Lord is a telepath in the comics, so I guess it's already unfaithful. But he's a good character in the comics. Read Infinite Crisis, he's great in it. Uh, sure. Uh, have you seen Soul? Oh wait, sorry, I read that one. Uh, given your love for Batwoman, I'm interested to know if you guys have seen CW Supergirl and your takes on its writing and various SJW themes. So, I think we've seen the um, the compilations videos of, of what's in Supergirl, right? Of Supergirl, yeah. Fucking hilarious. The police give up their guns in hopes that everyone else will or something. That's a thing that happens. Um, but no, I've not seen it. I I would only hope it's as funny as that one. But that that was always on the cards. We were thinking of covering Supergirl on minis, but uh, we never we never got around to that. Obviously, since it's done now, like it's been cancelled, 
that's always a potential for us to watch one day. Who knows? Yeah, it's very true. We could go through and we could watch uh, Supergirl. Just have these super casual uh, watch sessions. Um, let me get a drink. I will be right back. Mm -hmm. It's great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. How are you doing there, chat? We got like I think 15 of these left, and we're probably gonna stop there. But we will be back tomorrow for a New Year's Eve stream, in which I hope to just chill with some guests and talk about uh, probably Wonder Woman, the first and second, and uh, maybe Mando too. Who knows? Smash the monitors, Moolah. I I couldn't do it with the thing. I didn't know if it's possible. Oh god, he's so bad. Shut up! Oh, look at that. Perfect. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice a moat area there. Very deadly. Extreme. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm surprised they had it so that there was this whole gap. You'd think it, if it's his first test, it's just press a button and it opens the door. Here's an idea. Why don't you just keep solving this test? Like Fucking love his accent in this. Yeah, the uh, voice acting definitely. and the characters in Portal 2. Here we go. Oh. Do it again. Fucking fabulous. And nothing. Oh, I can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Gotta be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Will Count Dankula be there tomorrow? I don't think he will be available for such tisms, but I mean, we'd have him on if he wanted to. Pretty sure that's just Stephen Merchant's actual accent. Yeah, and I love the accent. He's, uh, he speaks that way in all the stuff I've seen him in, be it... Uh... Hot Fuzz... The Ricky Gervais Show... Um... The Office. And that is all I can do off the top of my head, I'm afraid. Because I do not remember what else he was in. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. All right. I could probably blow that one up, right? If I just... Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word tech. Oh, there you go. Bless you little primate brain. <laughs> I'm not actually in the room with you. I'm on technology. It's complicated. Uh, we kept her at the big old god face. Bless your little primate brain. He was in Hot Fuzz? Yeah, man, he was, uh, he was the one who was after the... Swan. My name's Peter Ian Staker. P.I. Staker. Piss Taker. Come on! Yes, Mr. Staker. <laughs> Life's too short, yeah. He was also in Logan. Yeah, he was, uh, Caliban. Peter Ian Staker. Hmm. Hmm. Where are we going here? Um. Still just stands. No reason why I shouldn't just carry on. I suppose. Putting together my first 40k minis right now, joined the greater good. Uh, the last gun being a flashlight refers to them being weak in context, gives a good sense of power level in 40k. Is that right? Well, perfection. Um, that one's for rags. It makes me very sad that Wonder Woman's first live action portrayals are garbage. There's so much great potential. You have with that character her mythos mythos i guess uh, in fact she's my in my five top 10 dc superheroes nice and uh yeah i i, I hear there's a lot of good reason to like her just uh don't think the movies did a very good job you know i dislike minorities so here's some money thank you very much 
Also, hi, M. M isn't even here. Why the false dichotomy between Halo and DDLC? Uh, it wouldn't be a false dichotomy if it was we're gonna play a game, and then we choose one. So, like Portal 2, for example, co-op. I could push that one ahead of Halo, but I would probably want to do Halo first, but it's always a potential. But the idea that Halo co-op or Portal 2 co-op comes before, or comes after Doki Doki Literature Club, that's fucking unlikely. It's not a false dichotomy. I don't really care about Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, because, again, if Doki Doki Literature Club was a two-hour movie that Rags and I could throw on at some point, then, like, maybe, but, uh, I don't know, I... I'm gonna commit to a gaming stream. I'm probably gonna want to play that that Halo game that everyone talks about, you know, with the with the aliens. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. Um. Uh, also, how's Rags? I'm well. Excellent. Rags, do you have a dog? No, I do not. My brother and my sister both have dogs. But yes. I do not. Well done. Uh, do you have a preferred breed of dog? Uh, well, uh, Shiba Inu, like those, mm -hmm. a whole bunch. Really enjoy them. Good stuff there. Uh, have a Newfoundland and a Maltese, and they make everything a lot more bearable. Also. Russian thing, and it means high rags, you nincompoops. Hey, I uh, guessed that it was high rags. I said that. <laughs> At um, least I think I did. I said, let's just assume it says high rags. Someone is just asking, uh, someone in my Discord asked, is there a Sylvester stream tomorrow? What does that mean? I don't know, I asked. Maybe, I, maybe you knew the reference. But... Sylvester. Sylvester. Not ringing a bell, but, you know. Um... Rags, when your next video coming out? Probably January. What about you, Mahler? I would say hopefully January, but no promises. Yeah. We'll probably sync ours up as well, for reasons that we have yet to elaborate on. For reasons that will become clear. Uh, um... Sylvester is December 31st. Uh, it means New Year. I never knew that. I never never knew that Sylvester meant New Year. I didn't know that Very either. interesting. Um, yeah, we are going to have a New Year stream. It's going to begin at normal EFAP time, right? Uh, an hour past that, just because it pushes right. closer to it's the end. Uh... Yeah, so that'll be central time, like 2 o'clock-ish. Um, I will be there for as long as I can because I do have family stuff going on for New Year's. And um, I will, I don't know, it depends on how long y'all go. If you guys are still going after that, by the time I get back, then I'll be, mm. uh, I'll be coming back. Uh, more money to not weeb. Well, you're in luck, because you know, Rags and I, we just don't weeb that much. That is a solid strategy though. You're not quitting YouTube anytime soon. Doki Doki's Literature Club will come. I, well, like I've always said, and said with Hardcore Henry as well, no promises, okay? whoop uh, Please support EFAP and other channels because we enjoy the content that's produced and want to see more. You guys rock. Aww. Very kind. And, uh, yeah, I mean, of course, we super appreciate anybody who wants to, uh, <clears throat> throw coin our way and we uh we do we do what we can. I think um anyone who's subscribed to the Moolah channel, you've been getting shit tons in these in the in the months of October and December. We did we did good for a uh, spooky ween and Christmas, I think. Lots of flim flams coming out. But of course, more is on the way. I'm actually pretty excited to get the uh both Wonder Woman coverages out. It'll be a fun premiere, I reckon. Uh I that there. Oh. No, someone, someone's saying it's named after Pope Sylvester II. People were panicking that the world would end in 1000 AD. Huh. Oh, here we go. Interesting. Here it comes. That is interesting. The world should have ended a, a lot of times oh, as far as I'm aware, but uh, here we are. 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys, of course. Druid of the Wolf donates $500. James Moore, challenge accepted. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, watch Wishmaster for EFAP movies. It was made by the same guy as Darkness Falls, which has similar themes to Wonder Woman 84 while being slightly less bad. Ho rags. Oh yes, Mahler? Wait a minute. Wishmaster was made by the same guy who made Darkness Falls, really? I don't know about Wishmaster. I know about Pagemaster. Yeah. yeah. But I've heard of Wishmaster a couple of times. I've never seen it. I just. I didn't know the guy who made Darkness Falls made anything else. <laughs> I just assumed that he just didn't Oh, in that case, out. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, <laughs> I love this game. Uh, got into a Twitter debate with CV Friend after leaving a comment. They claimed that they received death threats, but when I asked for proof, all I was shown was insult. Dude can't take criticism. I wouldn't be surprised if he could, you know, show a death threat. You get them a lot on the internet. Um, which is why we essentially get to the point where it's just like, what did the the group that this person came from do to encourage such a thing, if anything? And usually it's not. It's rare for people to fucking encourage death threats. How often do you see that, Ranks? People encouraging others to kill themselves? As in, a content creator encouraging their viewers to tell someone to kill themselves. Don't see that very often. No, I can't think of one example. I'm Now, that doesn't say that much. I don't keep up with a lot of people, but it's just not something that I've seen. Most people should know better anyway. Just do the test. Just do the test. Should. Also, if someone tells you to go tell someone else to kill themselves, you don't have to do it. That's such a weak move. You can't even tell them to kill yourself. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brain was trying to make that is sure a the fun word sentence. Right I like it. Uh, I really hope Disney portrays character X well. Lol. Exactly. That's that's where I'm at with all, all of this. Uh, now read Davy Jones' lines in an Arnie voice. You have a debt to pay. You've been captain of the. Jack Pearl for 30 years. That was our agreement. Ow. Seriously, he makes Batman and Robin so good. Um, oh, I guess I want to do that. This? My god. I did it. Thrawn is a Grand Admiral, and the best military tactician in the Empire. I swear, if they make him an idiot in the Ahsoka show, I will be so mad. I... I hear there's already precedent for that. Okay, so, let me put it to you that you are guaranteed that, and the reasoning is, every single character in The Mandalorian is stupid outside of Luke, I guess? Uh, yeah, I guess Luke wasn't dumb. He was sort of dumb. But not, like, really dumb. Like, his fighting was fine. There's a couple of weird things he did in the fight, but, uh... He's dumb in the sense that he didn't ask for context. That's that's where he dumbed. But basically everyone else in the entire show does something really fucking stupid at some point, so... Prepare yourselves for such things. Yeah, guys, I don't know why people still think that... Belt. Well, that they can, like, bring people back and not ruin them? Like, stop. They're going to. And if they don't, it, that's the miracle. Yeah, the crazy thing is, is, like, you'd expect... Let's see if they can repair the damage they've done first. Like, nope, they're bringing in someone new, let's hope they nail this one. You're like, whoa, they haven't even... Uh. Guys, it's going to be bad. Don't let them do it. Uh, here's my hot take. Fallout 4 is a better RPG than 3, with or without DLC. New Vegas is still the best 3D one. 1 and 2 are better than than that, and all are broken on some mechanical level. Um, I would say they're all broken on some mechanical level, sure. But that's mostly because there's so many options in them. In terms of what you... I think there's so much going on that you can break all of them, yeah. Um, I wouldn't call that too much of a negative. It's not like a game where there's three things to do and one path is clearly the best, you know? Mm. But as for, I guess the hot take is that four is a better RPG than three. I haven't played three recently enough to remember, but that's interesting. 
Uh oh. Portal 2 Sometimes I Fallout 4 has the best combat. Sure. That's because Fallout 4's combat is fine. Because, yeah, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, the combat in those is pretty lame. It's pretty bad. But they're old. But, yeah, they're kind of meh. They'll ruin Definitely Jar Jar. Please don't ruin Jar Jar. You... Jay wants them to bring in Jar Jar Binks. I think they should, too. It's just like, own it at this point. You're terrible. So why not just bring in something that's even better than you are, despite being hated? It'll be fun. Then again, they'll probably just... Uh... Make him just some kind of weird joke. Hey, it is still loading. The game is auto-saving, guys, so... Oh, wow. I'm worried about the game crashing and I enter a room that's got blue screen all over it. But, like, in-game. Someone said Fallout 3 does not force you into a character of a parent who lost their kid. How is it not a better RPG? It forces you into the role of a kid look with the lost parent. It's the reverse. Wait, are we saying that if you've... Instead of being a complete blank slate, you've got the history of having lost a parent that's automatically worse? Like, for choices and stuff? Is that the point being made there, or...? I think so. I don't um, know if I agree with that. Like, but... You could... But that's... Because those things are still incredibly broad. Yeah. The problem for... The problem with both of these using them as storylines is that it puts, like, a ticking clock element into what you need to be doing. But the game also says explore everything, look in all the nooks and crannies and closets and things. And someone said Fallout 3 in New Vegas have um, an emphasis on vats in combat. Yes, but I wonder if that's because that was their workaround, workaround for how bad the combat really was. Um, I know you, you probably get... It probably is far more helpful to put more vats you know, emphasis onto your skills and attributes, like to rank up your vats, essentially, in 3 in New Vegas because of how bad the combat is. Whereas in, New, whereas in Fallout 4, and even in 76, I really didn't use vats all that much because I could just point at things and shoot them, and it worked pretty well. Uh, agreed, Rags, have you played Fallout 1 and 2? No, I have not played Fallout 1 and 2. I own them, though. Uh, but I have not really played them yet. Um, so I said, having started with Fallout 4, I find it hard to go back to play 3 and 4, or uh, 3 in New Vegas. I understand why those games have not aged well in a gameplay department in a lot of ways. Like, the combat is shit, and the graphics are pretty... Meh. So I understand why it's hard to go back and play them. Um, but just try and consider that part of their charm. You know, their age, and that they're older games. And then when your brain accepts that as kind of just some aspect of the game itself it's all right it's kind of like how i can go back and play quake and i love the graphics because my brain has accepted that it's old and that's like a style thing to me now yeah, i was gonna say mechanically quake is still pretty on point yeah um quake one is my favorite um i've played quake one and two i haven't played the rest i need to play the rest i played um, pieces of two three and uh it was four yeah, four is the weird one. It's three, which is Team Arena. Am I my memory's all over the place right now? I can't I remember. Don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, I I really I would highly recommend if you guys have not played the first Quake or even the second because they're both fantastic. I just prefer the first Quake. Um, yeah, man, go for it. Quake Run, Quake One is fantastic. It looks great. It's got that old sure school look to it. I mean, Yes, you Tons of fun. I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of especially Rags is the last place you want to get advice for with video no, games no, that both no, suck no. at them. That's not true. Ah, I'm um, pretty good at video games, I will have you know. I just don't know what they're basing that on. What are, how much how much like gaming have we even done that's like skill based on EFAP? Mostly party games. Yeah, I mean we're not really super tryharding, even with Resident Evil 5. We were still playing it kind of casually. We were just keeping smart decisions in mind. Yeah, we, we were, were playing and we were responding to questions throughout all of it as well. Yeah. Sonic Heroes, obviously. Oh. <laughs> uh, Rags plays games all the time. That's correct. I do play games all the time. He's also good Rags at them. Rags only gets 98% accuracy in shoot or the absolute casual. <laughs> Um, someone was saying 20, 
Doom 2016 is the best Doom. I agree. I do think Doom 2016 is the best Doom. But it's okay if you don't agree. There are many good Doom games. Uh, that's based on the fact that Little Hope and Rebirth are actually good. Yeah, those aren't. They're not yet. Ugh. Belcher. Far Harbor? Oh, yeah, I remember that shit for Fallout 3. What an incredible DLC. Fallout 3 had some big DLCs. Yeah, what um, I remember, I even really liked um, Mothership Zeta. Uh, is it called that? Yeah. I know Mothership a lot of people didn't Zeta. like it. I liked it. And I think New Vegas had Lonesome Road, something Hearts, or am I getting it mixed up? There's a, a Road, a Hearts, and was the pit? Was the pit for New Vegas or Fallout 3? I can't remember. 3. I remember that one being okay. Rags, did you play Doom 3? Not yet. I actually bought it. I bought... Far Harbor was Fallout 4. No, Far Harbor... Then, I, then I'm then I'm, then I'm Wait, mistaking about, it for something else. You're talking about Point I'm Lookout? I'm mistaking Far Harbor for... I remember what I'm you're talking mistaking, about. Yeah, I'm mistaking Far Harbor for a different one. Which is the one where it's like a, um, a ghoul in like a, a mansion or some shit you do jobs yeah, for. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what it someone uh someone remind me point lookout yeah I, I just said point lookout i thought that's what you were talking about yeah point lookout yeah forget what i said about far harbor i confused it with point lookout point lookout was great point lookout was really great um and people saying pit was fallout 3. yeah yeah, yeah point lookout yeah. yeah there was some i, I remember really those dlcs it. really like giving some life to the game that when people didn't like it, or at least some people didn't like it, the, the DLCs were like, oh, they're really good, though. Well, it it reminds me a lot of... Let me let me make sure I get the... Um... Belch. I wanna... <laughs> oh, okay, so it reminds me of the DLC, the phenomenal DLC from Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, The Shivering Isles. Which was like a whole new, like a big whole new thing that they had added to it. Um, and I think there was Knights of the Nine, which I played, and it was fine. But it was, oh, it was the Shivering Isles was such a big add-on to the game. It was very impressive. And it had its own whole, like, flavor to everything. Uh, Soul was decent but suffers from many of the same problems that Inside Out suffered from. A deep concept with shallow execution. The music was nice but the pacing was off. A mediocre ride with some fun visuals. My kids liked it at least. I think it would be hard to find a Pixar movie that kids don't enjoy. Like they usually very upbeat and colorful and all the different things. So... I have to... Get that out of the way. Someone said broken steel? Yep, yep, broken steel. I remember broken steel. I remember all of them. I'm pretty sure I 100%ed it on uh, 360. I liked... Well, up 3 was fun on the bun. Wait a minute. Oh, that fucking really? Wow. Okay, you're an asshole, aren't you? There we go. Um... But yeah, you know, I I might check out Soul at some point, but just looking for it to be you good, I hope. Um, I think people will always be surprised by you guys. When the Atlas thing happened, I was surprised myself. Then I watched your talk with Literature Devil, and while I wish that you'd talk with ER extensively, I understand why you haven't gone further with it. It is something you weren't invested in to begin with, which makes me think it's better to cover and critique things you care about more than things you aren't in. Invested in, I guess. It's a big problem with reviewers who seem to think that they need to review everything. Still love Atla, but the points you bring can't be denied. We have said since the fucking beginning, please cover the things you actually care about, don't just cover everything. And the funny thing is, I've seen people who are critical of my stuff being like, oh, he just happens to be invested in Game of Thrones, the MCU, and Star Wars. And I'm like, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> like, but, but then at the same time, there's plenty of things that I don't give a shit about. So a prime example would probably be Star Trek. It's like, I'm just not into Star Trek at all, so... I'm not gonna... Like, we could have covered Star Trek Picard or Discovery or whatever on EFAP Mini, and we probably could have... It could have been entertaining, and we could have pointed out what's wrong with it. I just don't have any connection to Star Trek, so... 
uh, there wouldn't be much of a point. Meanwhile, Star Wars, I'm going to be game to watch a lot of Star Wars content. Uh, we'll have to see how that all goes out. And yeah, with the with the Atlas stuff, I uh, I hope it was interesting. Food for thought for some people who maybe thought that the show was just uh, I don't know anyone out there thought it was perfect. I guess. But like, I, I just didn't care to carry on the conversation because I, I care about it the same amount that I care about, um... Probably Bojack. Like, that's gonna be something I'll forget about pretty quickly. I think I care a little bit more about Bojack, though. Well, it's funny you should mention that. Oh, no. Someone just sent me a message. They oh, no. said, EFAP subject suggestion. Shafrilis Productions. Why Bojack Horseman is the best thing that ever happened. Um, <laughs> there would be no point because the the I would need to refresh my references on BoJack, and there's a fucking way I'm watching that show again. Uh, and I'm sure the arguments being made by Shafrilis are all the stuff like the show talks about uh, depression. It talks about uh, in a meta way what shows are about. You know, like the, the, all of the arguments that get made. I've already seen all of them. It's it's a super themey one. Because this is the thing, man. Fringy sold me on the show with that. It was while we were watching Buffy, he was like, Bojack mm -hmm. deals with uh, depression and self-hatred and cycles and how things can be like reflected and ongoing and how your past will always come to get you and as much as you try and like fight uh, what you wear um, and want to move on from it, you still need to like, I don't know, account for it and be wary of how your past can come back for you. So there's just lots of things like that and I was like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. But as we were watching it, like, he was very fast realizing it's it's very shallow, and of what they discuss of that subject, if you will, a little bit broken, it's not very well supported, like, there's, and there's so many, there's so much fucking wasted time in that show, it's crazy. So many episodes, I'm just like, what the fuck was the point of all that? And it's just like, well, you, you, eh, it's funny, kind of, it's like, eh, I oh, guess. Someone says, um, hmm, yeah, um, you know. From what I've heard about BoJack, I never ever want to see it. I saw one episode. Granted, it's one episode, but it was so painful and horrible. I never want to see the show again. And I think it's not it's not a huge stretch to say that you... Um, so, for example, if someone showed you a Buffy episode, and it was the worst one, and there's a couple of good choices for that, and you said, I never want to watch the show, but then if I told you, oh, it's worthwhile, though, I'm sure you'd be like, all right, well, maybe, versus yeah, me saying, I no... Be it's all bad. Yeah. <laughs> if Mahler said it's still worth it, I'd believe him. But, I'm fucking um, retarded. God damn it. The more um, I hear about Bojack, the worse it seems to be. Well, this is the thing. What You have no reason to believe that it's worth seeing Bojack if both Fringy and I, two people that you have probably, like, if you had a stack, a list of people that you have the most investment in in terms of their perspective on media, I think Fringy and I rank pretty high, so. Yeah, pretty high. If you have both of us telling you there's n you shouldn't see it, it's like, hmm. And this is the thing, it's not like it would, I would say it's like gonna kill Rags to watch it or anything, it's just that he could spend his time better, that's all. Someone said, why'd you watch that episode in particular? Because they wanted to show it to me. Yeah, we, uh... Maybe the Mahler wanted me to see it. We wanted him to have an idea of what we were talking about when we were gonna be bringing it up. Um. Wow. I keep doing this puzzle all wrong. Everything's backwards. Sad face. Lasers, my greatest weakness. Uh, Halo 1, 2 player. Halo 2, 2 player. Halo 3 and Reach, a 4 player. I'm assume. Wait, what about ODST? I do not know. Hmm. Maybe that isn't co-op at all, I don't know. I'm gonna take a shot at Dear White People, too. I... I don't think we are ever going to watch that show. The girl from Ragnarok is, like, the main character in that, I think. Apparently, someone in chat is saying that Renegade Cut praised Bojack while calling Rick and Morty Islamophobic, rapey, problematic, and a terrible influence on people. Okay. 
uh, I've said before that there's a good chance I will eventually show Rags uh, Rick and Morty, and as soon as we do that, he'll be able to watch some videos criticizing Rick and Morty, I guess. But, um, you know, that's a situation where, from what little you've seen of Rick and Morty Rags, you've got Jay, myself, and Fringy all telling you it's really, really good, so... What yeah. are the odds you reckon that you'll like that? Probably pretty high. Like I said, the, one of the best things to quote from it, just it, as a little like... There's loads of them, but um, Morty explains to Rick the problem with using the word retarded and how it can be hurtful toward people who like have disabilities that they have to deal with. It can imply a sense of like disparagement toward the mentally ill. And that um, maybe it's for the best going forward that you just don't use that word anymore. Do you know what Rick says in response? Shut up, retard. It says that's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that's the thing. Like, um... I think the show's got really witty writing uh, in a lot of it. So it'll be fun to, to show you it and then possibly cover some stuff relating to it. Um, I love how in the continuity of life's too short, Warwick Davis gets a redemption arc when Disney makes a Willow TV show and casts him laugh my ass off. Yeah, um, that is something that happens in that show, right? Which came out fucking like eight years ago or some shit. It feels like it's really old, so it's kind of funny that that's happening in real life now. Um... Rags, you think you'll play Receiver 2? It's a sim slash FPS where you manually reload real life guns. No, I think I'd just go play with my guns. <laughs> real guns. I mean, like. That's like the I whole guess appeal. I can yeah, it's like I can appreciate what it's trying to do, I suppose, but um, I think I'd rather just go play with my real guns. Yeah, I, I I I don't know anything about that, but uh, mm. hope it's good. Uh, speaking of coins, I counted my jars of coins yesterday and found out I have about two hundred dollars in change. It took a long time and was very worth it. Oh wow! Yeah, Man. change. I mean, change is money. Yeah, yeah. I I I wonder if how many how many jars we talking about? I feel like you're collecting, you know, cents. So, like that's a lot of jars. There is no exit. Um, plus, those movies are an absolute insult to her character and mythos from the comics and animated series slash film. There is only a singular animated film only. Anyways, anyone who defends them is not a true Wonder Woman slash DC fan. Well, I'll tell you this much. Rags and I have not read the comics, so... Yeah, I, I don't really care what the comics do, honestly. I'm just gonna be real with you here, Sparky. I just do not care about the comics. I don't care if it's a bad ap adaptation from the arbitrarily selected comic version that you tend to like or prefer. What if it were Lord of the Rings, Rex? Would you care then? Still wouldn't really care. It would be its own thing, and what I judge Aragorn it as its own thing. was a homeless idiot who gets made right by a lady? Well, I guess we'd just go along with that. <laughs> we'll have to see how they execute it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I need me a thingamabob. Huh. Oh, does it never come back down? Alright. Uh, what do you think? Is an RPG better if you determine your own backstory or if you're handed one and develop a character from that base? I think those two shouldn't be considered better or worse, really. Yeah, um, I just very often tend to see that a lot of the times when you have to choose between three or four predetermined paths, that a lot of the time they don't bother doing a really good job at exploring those paths as they should be. Corpo. Dead cyberpunk. I picked up what you were putting down there, Ranks. I picked yeah, it up. Yeah. I like how we both picked Corpo, and it, it's essentially like, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> like, it, was oh. just, it was so lame. Yeah. Uh, also, watch the Mothman prophecies, you uncultured horror cretin, otherwise I'll turn you into a yellow longsicle. Ew. I shouldn't want that. 
I'm tired of them ruining EU characters. Please don't ruin Thrawn. He's the last good one. He has been untouched by live-action Disney. Leave him alone. Oh, they're coming for him. You Bet your tell. ass they're coming for him. They're gonna give him a big ol' who knows what. But they're they gonna do it. Where is Admiral Thrawn? They probably had, like, um, I don't even know, some kind of just audience, uh, manipulative, like, uh, tracker thing for when she said the word Thrawn, and they were just like, how did the audience react? Did Woo. they like it? And then it beeps and boops. Yeah, they, they saw several upticks in, in engagement. Just yeah, for the word. Yeah. Admiral Thrawn. Uh, ODST is two player. I couldn't fit earlier. Halo 4 bad. Um, alright. I don't remember Halo 4 being bad. I have nothing to say on Halo 4. I'm pretty sure Fringy thinks it's bad, right? Or does he? I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, hi M, I hope you're doing well. well. He's not here right now, but I hope he is too. Hmm. Oh, I get what I have to do. Uh, thoughts on South Poo's arc of frustration with so many Raimioids on Spider-Man 2, as well as him trying to use every logical fallacy possible to disparage him. Uh, so, let's just say the people who like Spider-Man 2, holy shit, you've got some retards in your audience, or your group. I've seen so many yeah. people arguing with him, and it's, like, embarrassing. The shit Embarrassing that they'll say. would be a good way to describe it, yeah. I could see like people who think that he's wrong on Spider-Man 2 and that he needs to fucking, I don't know, revise his arguments and stuff. You must be so annoyed that he's dealing with people who are making some of the worst arguments I've ever seen. The one he put in his video, it's absolutely mind-boggling that someone got the official merchandise and used it as an argument for why he would have been able to. <laughs> like, already, I didn't even finish the sentence. You're, uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, but... Uh, oh sorry, ODST actually four player apparently. Oh, um, wow. I never did though. Hmm. Yeah, I never did it. Um, I don't think I did. Yeah, I did some co-op. Right. I watched the Hellboy remake recently, and oh boy, CJ was right. It's really garbage. Disgustingly gory to the point nearly vomiting. Extremely cringy with its forced cursing and a middle finger to the original films. Really? I remember liking the original Hellboys, um, quite a bit. So. I've not seen this new one, uh, but yeah, I've only heard very bad things. Yeah, I hear basically nothing good. It is always a great sign. What? What was that super chat about Disney not ruining Thrawn? What about Rebels, you carrot? They made him get blasted by, bested by kids like Littlefinger. That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. They've already kind of ruined him, and if they're running with that being canon now, then he's already been ruined, like, in canon, so, you know, just have to see what else they do. Um, and that's it, actually. We are caught up with today's oh, wow. and with 109s. Uh, we still got the Hellboy, not fucking Hellboy, the Boys uh, episode and 103. We're, basically, we're getting there. We're, we're, we're still getting there. Um... So I guess I'll save there. Who knows if I will continue Portal 2. I'm actually not too far from the end, I think. Um, these Portal games, they're so bloody short. Uh, I did say live action. I don't care about Rebels. That's fair. That's no. fair. Yeah, I don't care about Rebels either. Um, so yeah, um, I guess because one of the questions already asked, like, what will we working on, so I don't even really even mention that. I guess we'll just see you folks for a bit tomorrow with the New Year's stream. Um, thank you so much for the incredibly generous donations and for hanging out with us. Um, anything you want to say before we get going, Rex? No, I'm, um, I'm all, well, I'm all spoke out. Alrighty then. Um, see you on the morrow, folks. Have a good night and goodbye. Bye-bye.